MacBook. I squirted it right off the desk. It was a nightmare. Let's go. Screen shattered. Stand-up comedy tour dates. Where is Michael Blausland going to be yelling about feet next? Las I'll Vegas this Dude, weekend. You're a genius. The 24th through the 25th of June. Dude. At Wise Guys Comedy Club. Wow. You really helped me out. Yeah. Thank you. This weekend. All right. Tickets are going fast. So get out there. Buy some tickets at blogcomedy.com. And where is that? What? Where is it? It's going to be in Vegas. Oh, okay. In, in June. Oh, June 24th. This 25th, weekend? This weekend. Whoa. Yeah. So, you know, go get your tickets because they're going fast. And next date, Nashville, uh, July 8th to the 9th. Then I'm going to be in Austin, July 23rd to the 25th. Then Chicago, August 4th to the 6th. Then Tempe, Arizona, September uh, 8th to the 10th. T Whoa. September 8th to the 10th. And then Milwaukee, new date, new date. Milwaukee, September Milwaukee. 23rd. What the fuck are you doing in Milwaukee? Doing a theater, baby. Really? Which yeah. one? I wish I knew. It's in the offer sheet. Venice West, July 7th. We added a late show. First one sold out. Irvine, California. You yeah. asked for it. You wanted it. Every day I get DMs. When are you going to be in Irvine, California? I'll tell you. July 22nd through the 23rd. Four shows. Friday, Saturday. Irvine. And big one just added. Las Vegas at the fucking Mirage. Whoa. You don't hear me. The Mirage. You know it's not a Mirage? Me being there August 27th. Las Vegas at the Mirage. Mm. The guys, it's a 10 o'clock show, so we can go watch comedy, laugh, 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 and then go see Diplo, my good friend, Diplonius. Or the chain smokers. Probably. Or you can just go back to the hotel and jack your cock off until you go to sleep. I'm the chain strokers. Yes, you are. It's going to be the Patch Theater. That's what it's the called. The Patch Theater? In Milwaukee. That's where I should have done when I was out there. That's, that's a good theater. Yeah. So, guys, that's the, th that's the that's Theater the Mikey. Theater Mikey. So where do you go to get my tickets? You go to blogcomedy.com. Where do you go to get Mr. Wallace's tickets? TrevorWallaceComedy.com. TrevorWallaceComedy. And I think I might add a Hawaii date. Maybe. 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 Dude, maybe, me maybe. too. When? Uh, I think in October. Uh, mine's mine's end of July. Why don't we just I, go at the same time? Do you want to open for me? No. All right. Well, we can't come. I was going to pay for your flight. <laughs> That's fine. Gabe, come on. Get this idiot off the podcast. Splat! Are we in? What Annie, a big deal Annie, to be here. Annie, wow. Annie, I think wow. we got to start the podcast. Uh, do you, you have something you need to take out? Yeah. What oh, is a tampon? Oh, oh, dude, oh, that'd be sick. Oh, Demonetized. Oh. Damn, you hear the slurp on that? Yeah. I just wanted to give some boners out before we started. Damn. Is it wow. just the bottom yeah, that has a... And you're just gonna yeah, half it. the best blowjob. Half of the best. Where'd you put it? I put it in my back pocket. Okay. I don't want to put it in my Louis Vuitton. Oh, okay. Flex. There you go. Oh, flat. New drop. It was the new drop, but it's fine. Do you have a specific pocket back there, or is it just like the normal pocket? It's just, I just throw it in a pocket, and then I always go, where's my mouth guard? And I check my pockets, and there it is. Have you it's lost it yet? No. How many months have this been in? I've had it for about a week. It's oh, one short. week? Yeah, it's why my did, house. Why, it's is my... This, why is this mouth guard in? Because I have TMJ, so I go to this TMJ But what is TMJ? TMJ. Well, actually, everyone has a TMJ. It's the joint. Oh, shit. It's your jaw joint where your jaw meets your your lower jaw meets your top jaw. All right. Okay, and science. so mine is like out of I don't know how, what happened. I had some injury when I was like probably 12 or something, I think is when I first started getting it. And it's now shifted. And so now it like pops like there's uh, a. Yeah. And like then when, I grind my teeth at night. Oh, I saw, I told you Damn. guys this off podcast. My dad is TMJ and he literally grind his teeth so bad. That his teeth like were like baby teeth. What are they doing in there? They're uh -huh. just grinding all night? Just back yeah. and forth? He had to wear a mouth. What? He had Why? to wear a mouth. I don't know. Ask him. I don't want to. <laughs> then I have to he talk to stress. him. He had stress. He had stress. Stress. Yes. Yes. Talk to stress because he left me at six dad? months. What? You don't talk to your dad? No, I do. I'm just fucking around. Oh, I was like. <laughs> you dad don't did leave the family early. Though. Oh, really? I was just with my dad. Happy Father's Day. Yeah, dad. You're the Classic. best. Never Classic left. Classic dad. You know what I love about dad? Suburb life. My dad never left. Anyway, so tell me more about your story. No, I'm just kidding. What was <laughs> that? That was really at me. Um, no, 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 dude. I mean, the, but you guys are cool now. We're, we're, Does dude, he look we're, like you? We're super cool. No, no. It's tall. Thank you. Yeah, well, at tall. least you know that he was feels guilty and miserable and is grinding his teeth subconsciously. He feels like Thinking shit. about the family. What oh, he yeah, did. That, that's what they have. Of course, or, that's why. Because crypto's, crypto's down. I feel like he's a big crypto <laughs> down He's guy. Dude, he's a is big. Dad, he's, is he really? No, he's the opposite of crypto. crypto. Love it. Dude, crypto's at 19K. It's terrible. Bitcoin. You, you got in it. Oh, buddy, I have Idiot. Even, I have not looked I didn't get in it. No, I never got at in At my it. Robin Hood. Yes. I feel like it's everybody no. who got on uh, Clubhouse. I never got in on Clubhouse. Yes. No. And I and I feel like I didn't miss anything. Yeah. You know, everyone's like, ah, oh, it's panicking, it's bombing. I'm all right. 
I never even a listened bit. to a thing on Clubhouse. Did, did you guys even I listen? went in on one. I, there was like one thing where we were doing like some sort of like roast show or something. It was what? like so, and everyone oh, was in. Inter- yeah. I'm, I'm an interrupter, so it's like hard on a platform like that. But I do have a Spotify show coming out that's going to be just audio. Are you doing the? Oh, I am doing it. Yeah. Are you doing it? I too? have one. Oh. Yeah. Did you start it? Yeah. I just did the first one last week. Okay. Well, how was it? Chill. You just talk. It's not bad, right? No, you just you're literally just like I want your. Com- I feel like you had so much more money than me, though. How much did you get? No, I can't tell you, but it was too low. <laughs> I will tell you. I will tell you. I was I'll like, I'll tell oh. you. Mine was low. Yeah, mine was low. Oh, really good. Good. Okay. Because I was like, I don't want, and then I was like, ah, it'll be easy. Like, no, it's it's like you're having a conference call, but you just get to pick when other people get to like chime in. Yeah. It, no, it's yeah. It's, mine, mine was pretty low too. My was, my was pretty low. My, when they offered it to me, guys, it was it was pretty right. it was pretty low because right. they you know they, they sent they send the, the offer sheet to me and it's it it must have been like an invisible ink because I didn't I they I didn't I didn't get it. They I just sent him a blank paper. Actually, I feel like if Spotify sent me a blank paper, I would be like so excited. Like, am I just supposed to send them my offer back? Like, yeah. oh, dude, they, they uh, reached my out numbers? to us for just like a general email and like within like a minute on the call, I was like, so what's what's the deal? And they're like, what? They're like. How much we talking? Oh, well, this is right after see, the Joe I know, Rogan I'm deal. Like, Woo! I, I'm like, but okay. they emailed us just to be like, "Hey, we're your representative just to help out." And we're like, "Right, right, right." But like, how much are you buying the show for? Like, oh, that's not. What we're, I, know, I was like, I don't think I've been paid that much. In, yeah, like, that's how it works. Yeah. Joe Rogan, call her daddy, stiff socks. Like, yeah. there's no other trajectory. <laughs> yeah. and Do they it. Didn't buy it. Why? I don't know. Not yet. Guys, I don't know. Yet. I manifest. Not I don't yet. think they're doing it anymore, guys. Manifest? I don't think any company's no, buying no, no. a thing Every anymore. Every company's it's still done. buying everything. No. Yeah. We're, you got to be the first one in the new company. You I want be... our podcast to go into like gas station TVs. I'm That's fine with that. That's how you made it. Ooh, it's yeah. us and Mario Lopez on repeat. <laughs> Mario <laughs> Lopez. Yeah, I want it age. to be like I want it to be Mario Lopez like cutting to like clips of my podcast. Yeah. How yeah. great would that yeah. be? What's the worst thing your podcast could air on? Um, Ooh, flights are pretty bad. Yeah, but flights is I would be excited. On I've flight. never seen a, I've never seen an airline cool enough to have me as their. I do JetBlue. Oh, okay. sick! No, JetBlue's Jet close. Is sick. Oh, Jet I miss all chill. those. I haven't been on JetBlue in so long. I miss those little mint boxes with all the little new they treats. Give you everything. <laughs> You guys, you guys ever flown Virgin when it was when it was still going? It was the best, good? You, dude. You walk in, it would smell good. It had like uh, it was all like happening. Miami, yeah, yeah, all like the, really Miami. It was like lights and shit. It was like this, this, this. Really? Yeah, it, it was, was like, like it was fun. Dude, the most degenerate flight. I don't care where you're flying from. Is anyone going to Vegas? There's people yelling from aisle to aisle to each other. Darlene, did you get my airdrop? It's my left tit. Oh my god! And then Everybody's you turn your airdrop on. And you're mind. like, let me see it. Oh yeah, please dude, send it, send it, send it. Did you get a? Have you got a dick when you were been in New York yet? I've. They gotten, are wild sending those. I haven't gotten the dicks. I've gotten just like just dumb anyone? kids like yeah. sending their like selfies to me. Oh, okay. dude, like on like on the on the subway it was a did big you ever thing. Send back and it was I used to see real dicks on the subway. Is that what you're talking about? Real dicks are funny. Is yeah. it better to get a real dick or a... I, think I don't know. I think it runs in the family for me, though, because my mom told me that she's been on the subway twice and both times she got a dick flashed her. Isn't that good luck. So Have funny? you ever, like... Do they look nice? She tripped. Nice? She fell on the stairs once. No, they're oh, they're always chapped. It's not a good dick. It's never a well taken oh, care of dick. Oh, a chapped dick. It's not always over touched. It's overdone. It's not moisturized. It's crazy. But you have my to moisturize mom, your dick? I think yeah. if you have it exposed to the elements... Off, Oh my god, that's so funny! Yes, I'm that, I, I, in my head, honestly, moisturizing is different than jerk. But oh yeah, my god, he's never jerked off. Doing eye cream I've never, oh my god, cock. he's a jerk off virgin. I never. Yeah, I know. I the know. socks is a like. lie. He's a fraud. Oh, this yeah. boy he's a fraud. His socks his are meat. soft. This boy be setting up candles and shit, setting timers on oh, the kitchen. Oh, it is a session. Do you manifest when you do it? Manifest. No, I manifest my. I used to sure. when I was broke. I used to masturbate on top of. Um, this is not to be sexual. This is to tell you the no, funny please, part. No, please. No, please. On top of. Oh, on top of money. Really? Yeah. That's the, like, how, you, how much? Like, it would be quarters? like what all of the cash I had. Yeah, no quarter. I would wake up with like, um, with the, <laughs> the green buffalo dots nickels on, on your my, fucking head. Yeah, yeah you go through TSA. It's like, beep, 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 beep. Oh, sorry. It's just a dime back there. I got a little sweaty. You, you would like sit on. I would like lay out. Um, like you're about to do like, cash. A, like, dollars? like a music video for yeah. Biggie or something. It would something. be dollars. Whatever. I had dollars, 20s. I didn't have that much money. So. But, Was there ever times where you're like, oh, I can't lay down. It's too nice of a 20. No, I'll crunch up a twenty. But why did you? I think feel I made like the twenty needed, better. Why did you feel like yeah. you needed to jerk off? Manifest. On the, but that's not manifesting. I Jerking saw somewhere. Manifesting. I saw some like YouTube. I was just like, I'll just watch yeah, some YouTube videos. YouTube? Like I was like, all right. 
Yeah, they do say that uh, like when you're doing <laughs> ritual magic and shit, like uh, orgasm is like the the most powerful really? thing you can What's do. So that would make yeah. sense. Yeah. Oh, and then so you're I supposed to manifest while you come. And if you can, when you're fucking your girlfriends, if you can come at the same time and both manifest the same thing. Like you if you're gonna buy a house, three, one, two, three, Tesla, new man. Yeah, Dude. one, two, three. Well, I what I did, I remember I would I said Netflix, and then I would I didn't say like special, and then I was like thinking it was like, what if they just gave me like free Netflix? Like my brother put me on his account. Oh, that's kind of cool. What if <laughs> you put you on like Netflix you be, radio, and you're like, ah, oh, close. You got to be specific. Yeah, no, you but do. But too long. But you have to make sure you time it. You know, you don't want to be like echoing each other. You gotta. Do my girl and I have been coming at the same time recently? I know this it's a big thing. It really is good, dude. Yeah, okay. Dude, well, I'm here's out. the thing. It's here's really the thing. Really he, he's been up. not pushing this, but he's been doing it way more than me. I don't. I don't really enjoy the come in. I like the more like come on. It feels more disrespectful. So it's like yeah, that more, is like more, more of fun. a like take it. Yeah, bitch, it's like yeah. take it, you fucking idiot. <laughs> yeah. So that's fun for me. Is that hot when you you guys are in love, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's like. So funny, take it, bitch. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, so, if you're so, not so in love, so though, I'm like, this is dark. But if, yeah. it, if this is your no, girl, it's oh like, no, yes, my girl, we're in love. But it, it is, it's it always that weird fucking moment when you like really, really disrespect a person, and then you have to go like do chores or like go yeah. to like Target or that. That's always like a weird thing. But it is like a, it you switch. You're in, they're yeah. in the room. You're animals. Yeah. And then you come, and then now you're human people. Yeah. You can't be the same person. I mean, some people are, but you can't be the same person you're going to be in bed. Yeah. You can't be the same person in life you are in bed, or you can't be the same person in bed you are in life. Either, Either or. Yo, put that, that shit on my tombstone. Dude, Dog. That's, this is getting deep. Tombstone dude. pizza? Deep. Underrated. Tombstone pizza? Are they still around? Underrated. Yeah. Wow. Underrated. I thought it was DiGiorno remember. fucking people. No, DiGiorno and Tombstone. DiGiorno did not taste good, but wasn't DiGiorno you made it yourself? Yeah, you still do. I think okay. no, tombstone was the same thing, the right? The journal is just in the, you just put it in the. Yeah, you got to make it yourself. Is this still a sex analogy? DiGiorno, yes. It's not delivered to DiGiorno. Yeah, stuffed crust, that's what you do. <laughs> well, also, DiGiorno is like. So when she's on her, uh, has a yeast infection? Yes. Yeah. Sorry, guys. No, no like, don't fucking apologize. Like, they're used to it. Yeah. I got to get out of here. Um, no, I did get the Tesla, though. I did manifest you have the a Tesla? Tesla. Yeah, I did get it. How do you like it? I love it. Do you have one? I, I see them everywhere on the road. No, you have to I'm get like, one. It's I'm, the best I'm gonna car do it this in the world. Week. I see them everywhere on the road. I'm People like, are like, but yes, you yes, could yes, die yes, in a yes, fire yes, in it. Yes. I'm like, but I'll die in a fucking Tesla. They'd be like, lighting on fire? Like uh, Android? But not that many. Honestly, not it's pretty sick to go out. You're like just burning. I'm like, it was worth it. Take me to Nobu. No, I see them everywhere. I test drove one a couple weeks ago. Now, every time I see them on the road, I just point them out. They're so fast. They're everywhere. I signed up for the Cybertruck. I want the Cybertruck. Oh, the Cybertruck's great. Cybertruck's good. The tackier, the better. I want to get it wrapped, but then it's like sometimes you don't want to get it wrapped. You don't What would you wrap it with? I saw a metallic one the other day. Well, I wanted yeah, to just no. kick it with my shins. I, I, was, I was thinking about going like very tacky, like doing something really, really like. You should put your like, face what? on it and then put comedy next to it. Well, face is good. Face is good. <laughs> but I was thinking of doing like, um, like the, you know, the digital army fatigue. I think thing. Digicamo? Or it's literally called something. Like, yeah, I know what you're talking about. But I don't know what it's called, but in pink. <laughs> Just like so cheesy. Would be sick. But I don't want to be, you don't want to be too recognizable. That is, I don't, yeah, I mean, I don't then you you're driving down the street and then there's some like weird guy who knows yeah, every they just word you've ever said. Who, uh, oh Ugly. my God, I'm blanking on her name. Uh, like, short hair, huge ass. How ugly is that? Amber Rose? Thank you. Amber Rose. Amber Rose drives that Jeep, that pink ass Jeep, and everybody knows who yeah, it is. Yeah, I don't want people drives. to know where I am. Yeah. Um, that's terrible. Don't do that. I think you just get the Punisher skull on your hood, and then that's it. Oh, you do it? Oh, you do it on the top? Yeah, yeah. the trunk. Oh, the trunk is so. Sweet. Have you ever fucked in the trunk? <laughs> Who get fits frunked? in that? Who fits in that trunk? You would have to have it popped up, and dude, I guess you would just have it. Open. I'm yeah. five. I'm five nine. I could probably fit in there. I got little little <laughs> hips, dude. You could do a one on one game in there. There we go. Uh, I can fit in a glove compartment. You ever come in a glove compartment? I'll do it twice. There was Whoa. this cop that. Um, uh oh, here we go. Okay, so there was this article that was. I don't know how long ago it was, but you can. You might be able to look it up. It's an Albuquerque cop was oh, caught Albuquerque. banging. It's not even a real thing. Banging chicks on top of the car, like in his own camera. He caught himself on his own camera. Oh, fuck and I yeah. looked it up, and it was sick. my friend Bert from college. <laughs> no. The dude or the girl? The dude, get those like, videos. Oh, shit. This guy's a legend. He was. I looked it up. I was like, oh my god, that's my cop. I was like, that's my friend. That's a cop. Hold on. So he I got, mean, I he got caught on his own body cam. Yeah. I want to watch a body cam porn. But I think not that's a really body hot. cam. I think we should all be they wearing be them. There. Then nobody can really like sue each other. It's like the new sex noise instead of the the body cam smash. Body on. cam. Oh, so everyone. So this like a it's a lot of consent there. Yeah, it's but like, also good you content. Not on a body cam. Come on now. That's Just that's POV. Little, you got to get one around your dick with too. a thumb. That'd be hot. Yes. You know I think we should wear them on our forehead though. I'm enjoying coming on myself a little bit more now. I once jerked my ex boyfriend off right before we're breaking up. 
I was giving him his last blow, or his last um, hand job, but he the didn't last know handy yet. Ever? But I felt that I is mean, funny. It does at make it point. mean, but I knew I was like, it's done. Well, I we had gone down to hand jobs at that point where I sometimes I would just wow. I called it the turbo jerk. I would jerk him off while he was in the shower and I wasn't. Damn. I you wouldn't even like you just on the toilet or something. I would just be like, well, it was the bathroom wasn't that small. Okay, he's like okay. just doesn't believe that I had a bathroom that could. Well, I, I mean, you just made it, so I don't, I don't no, know. No, I know, I know. <laughs> I mean, two months ago, we were yeah, jerking yeah, off on you top just made of it like eight months ago, so. welfare <laughs> checks, okay? So he's in the on shower, the you're jerking checks. him off, you're but doing a do Sudoku puzzle with your left was hand. Like, I had watched, you know, Blackfish. Yeah. Yep. So I was like, it was like that, that. like SeaWorld documentary? Yes, but you know, they had to jerk the killer whale off so he they wouldn't did? do any bad things. It was oh, like man. that. How it was like, all up? right, I've got to like, I've got to excrete the poisons. Yeah. So I was like, just doing like a, like a. Jerking off. You got it, guy. I'm going to make you come. There we and go. then, so I was like, joking off in the least sh- hot sentence that anyone It was bad. Said. I know it wasn't. We should have just broken up before the, yeah. you know, but I wanted to, you know. So you're giving him his last jerk off. I was giving him his last jerk, and this was in bed. And then I could feel that he was about to come, and I flipped it up, and I got in his mouth. Wow. Yeah. Now, that's I do apologize. A game. I'm sorry. That's like, in retrospect, <laughs> it's react? not a nice thing. Was it, oh, what the fuck? Mm. I don't know. I was doing mm. my victory lap. I don't know what, how he felt. I don't think <laughs> oh, he liked it. You got a little he was bit. like, oh. It was bad. You said Funny victory now. lap. What does that mean to you? I was just excited. I got it in. Oh, you were like, fuck yeah. Hold From on. downtown. I, I was in the neighborhood. Like, bah, 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 bah. Fuck yeah. So that was, but that was the last. I mean, I mean, dude, what an epic breakup. Yeah. The last hand job right he in the mouth. He knew it was coming. It was one of those things where I was like hoping he would just break up with me. That's and then what, you got I don't in do his that mouth anymore. And, he's like, and then I was like, right. that's, and then, yeah, I think then he was like, all right, I guess we're done. Did he, he wiped his mouth and was like, we're done. We're out here, bitch. God damn. Hey, what's up, YouTube and everyone else? You know it's Helix time. Ad, 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 ad. <laughs> that was me doing burr, 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 burr. Helix mattresses. Guys, look, we just got shipped all Helix mattresses. And, dude, what? These things, I mean, Cloud Nine is an understatement. You sleep for one third of your life, dude. You don't want to be sleeping on a pile of cement. You don't want to be sleeping on a pile of hay. You want to feel like a king. And you know what makes you feel like a king? When you're sleeping on a Helix mattress, okay? And how do you get one, dude? Helix sleep, it has a quiz, okay? It takes two minutes to complete. Not a not a not an annoying one. Not an L stat. SATs. SATs. Why do we even need those? We don't. Exactly. He looks <laughs> mattresses. It only takes two minutes to complete and matches your body type and sleep preferences to the perfect mattress for you, okay? Why would you buy a mattress made for someone else? I don't. We don't. You shouldn't either. With Helix, you're getting a mattress that you know will be perfect for the way you sleep, dude. Plus, everybody's unique, and Helix knows that, so they have several different mattress models to choose from. Soft, medium, firm. It really, whatever, and and everything you can imagine, and they got ones that are great for like cooling you down if you sleep hot. Oh. Mattresses that are great for spinal alignment to prevent morning aches and pains, and even have a Helix Plus mattress for plus size sleepers. My dick, I took the <laughs> Helix quiz and yeah, I was matched with the soft one. You know, I'm I'm a big, I'm a side guy, but I like I like to feel like you're I'm, a side guy. You think I'm built like a fucking back guy? I'm a bad guy. I cuddle the shit out of a pillow. Don't you have a girlfriend? Yeah, but she's, I sleep facing right. She sleeps um, with other men. <laughs> What's the problem? <laughs> <laughs> no, here's the thing, man. Just check it out, dude. Because honestly, th- the best part about this is the fact that they ship it to you. That alone, you don't even have to read what other benefits you have. Because you're getting a mattress shipped to you, dude. Us. It's in a box. You un- it, dude, shipped right to your door for free. Free, you dude. You never need to go to a mattress store again. You got to lay there with your shoes on. You got to make stupid jokes with the guy working there. Whoa, can you have sex on this? Of course you can. Look, if you want a discount plus a 10-year warranty, oh, banger alert, just go to helixsleep.com slash socks. Take the two-minute quiz, and they'll match you with a customized mattress that will give you the best sleep of your life. That's helixsleep.com slash socks. And they are offering up to $200 How much? off all mattresses. How much? $200. How much? $200 off all mattresses and two free pillows that I will cuddle. Uh, for I'm going to fuck them. Helixsleep.com slash socks. God damn. You hear that? What? That's the sound of high-quality tobacco alternatives bum, bum, bum. see everybody has all these thoughts about baseball players fishing you got to have all this look dude it, there's always alternatives just know that there's alternatives for everything these days even meat you know yeah there's there's alternatives for uh, 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 lifestyles uh, vagina flashlight are 
there's alternatives. But there's also a high quality tobacco alternatives. You know what I'm talking about? I am talking about Black Buffalo. Black Buffalo is everything you love about dipping, including pharmaceutical grade nicotine, just without the actual tobacco leaf or stem. Dude, the dip literally made from edible green leaves and food grade ingredients with the same flavors, textures, aromas, pack, and nicotine are traditional tobacco products. No compromise re Choir, dude. Do they have a bunch of flavors like wintergreen, mint, straight, peach, and even blood orange? I think so. Wow. Just answered it myself. And you can buy it at blackbuffalo.com. It's available in long cut and pouches. Plus, if you're looking to ditch the nicotine and tobacco routines, tap into their nicotine free options called Zero. You know, I got to say, I, uh, I tried some of these. Yeah. You know, I'm a, you know, you know, I'm a nicotine guy. I like yeah, my you vape. Are. I like oh, yeah. my, my pouches. And they sent us some of these. And like, you look at the can, it's like, it gives me, because I like when I was younger, like the idea of like long cut. Oh, dude. Yeah. I used to sit so hard on my back pocket when there was a can on there. Yeah. I wanted the imprint so bad. The yeah, circle. Yeah. Really, it was just a hockey puck the whole time. Don't tell everybody in 12th grade. Well, now it could be a uh, black <laughs> buffalo. Because, yeah, I, I saw it and I was like, oh, this look, like I got this feel like, oh, I got to put it, this in. And it tastes yeah. great. And it's like, I don't know, dude, I'm trying it's... to get away from so much nicotine all the time. And so this yeah. is a nice. Well, what's nice is I think with vapes, you're oftentimes it's, it's muscle memory, it's mm -hmm. movement. This, you can kind of just, it's in there, it's chilling. You're not thinking about it, you know? Yeah. Uh, yeah, dude. And in 2022, are you still dipping traditional tobacco or those white portion things? If so, and you're 21, it's time to get with Black Buffalo. It's everything you love about dipping just without the actual tobacco leaf or stem. Head to blackbuffalo.com and use promo code SOCKS at checkout for 15% off your first order. That's the best offer you'll find, but you have to use promo code SOCKS. 15% off your first order. One last time, that is promo code SOCKS, blackbuffalo.com, 15% off your order. Use promo code SOCKS. Warning, this product does contain nicotine. Nicotine is an addictive chemical. God damn. How, how, why, why, why did it, why did it end? Like, did it just, it just like emotionally, I like, just, like, he was a nice guy, but I just had never, ever considered myself like staying with him long. And even in like the start? Later. Yeah, no, I just never. So why, the, why did you? Why did you start? I don't you know. Like I don't know. I don't know. It was back in the day. It was pre-pandemic, you know? It was fucking years ago, dude. Dude, the back in the day things are hilarious. When you're like early 20s, you look back and you go, why did I make any of those choices? But yeah. they sort of made sense a little bit during. Well, you are. It is like, why did I have like a boyfriend for no reason? Like, I don't know. I guess I was doing kind of well in my career at that point. And I, it was nice to have someone like around. Yeah, why is but that? But I didn't want anyone that was going to like... Need, yeah. actually like need me in any way right they're having like problems back at home and you're but like, then That's he enough. was needy and then i was like Ugh. Yeah. yeah it is a weird he was always broke i was like oh <laughs> get him out it just was like it was fine in the can't afford on your rings like, Ugh, get no the hell it was out like his mom would like be sending him money and stuff which is fine like do what you gotta do but it was just like Dude, i was broke, for so, I was broke for so yeah. fucking long i was with this girl and she was making like six figures and it was was this it was yeah okay. it was demoralizing was this yeah i love that it, it was it well, was, it was like, demoralizing. was it two, an ex ago she was like in movies and shit and tv she was in call of duty and it was the like it's like it? at, well at that, at that point i was, was making a, I, was I don't, making know, I don't know her name at that point i was making oh, like yeah. a little bit of money but the but it still was like she was making astronomical money and I was making like- To the point I where you gotta use the word astronomical. A hundred percent. And I numbers. was like making like, oh, I can afford my rent money. Yeah. So it was just this weird, she was like, hey, you wanna go to fucking Hawaii? Wanna go to I'm vacation? Like, like, yeah, she'd pay for it, for it and she would pay for it? No, we, I didn't, I didn't, you I just couldn't screen screen it? Yeah. I couldn't do that. Yeah. But what did you guys I do like for to vacation? buy my boyfriend stuff though. I like paying for my boyfriend shit sometimes. Okay. He's fun. I've met him, he's a very nice guy. Is what does he do for work? He's super nice. He's an editor, he's working on a, he like does story producing and stuff. He's working on a Netflix show. Nice. He does good though. Oh, Netflix. Yeah. So you manifested Netflix. I manifested for my boyfriend. And you got, okay, okay yeah. I'm, I have Netflix in my life now. I still can't get over the fact that you, that you were like, just fingered yourself on top of dollars. I can't yeah, get that yeah. visual out of my I'm head. I'm gonna try that after this. Yeah. yeah. You guys but it's all digital money. <laughs> I'm gonna do it on like a $2 bill or something freaky. Second Dude, $2 coin, $2. hold up, $2 bills are fun. Two dollars were supposed to used to be bad luck, remember? A, really? If you have a $2 bill in your wallet, you do cocaine, 100%. Oh, Why I else would you have that. it? Oh, good luck, drugs. Or ketamine. Or ketamine. Or if you have ketamine in your pocket. Or Advil. If you have ketamine in your purse, you're Annie Letterman. <laughs> Do you, you have, have ketamine, ketamine in your purse right now? Yes, I have ketamine in my purse. What is ketamine? 
It's a horse trying well, to No, I, I know. But what is brought to you by Academy? <laughs> yeah. What does it do? Probably cut that out. Maybe don't. Yeah. Nah, we're going to leave it in. Later. Unless you uh, want to cut so it out. So it just no, it, it relaxes it you? Because I know people go down no, big No, it's like for, no, you or... people use like, I don't actually do. Don't even say you don't actually do Academy because it's in your goddamn purse. Do you I think mean, we're narcs right something. now? You're like, I don't actually do No, 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 but I'm going to tell you the truth. I'm going to tell you the truth. Yeah, please do. I had it in my pocket because my friend was like, do you want to go to a rave? My friend, I'll say her name, my friend Abby. Abby! I was doing shows at Flappers this weekend. Whoa, flex, flex, flex. What's up? That's a great club. I love that place. I really had a great time. Isn't it fun? I feel like Burbank is a different breed of Los Angeles, so you can go there and just yell. It was just such a good time. We must have just missed each other because I was there all weekend. Oh, really? When were you there? Saturday. I was in the main room Saturday. Oh, yeah, we did miss each other, yeah. Yeah. All right, well, there we go. Guess you weren't there. What? Lying. He's what? a liar. Neither of you guys were doing, so you were doing ketamine at No, Flappers? no, no, I didn't do it, but my <laughs> friend my friend was like, let's go to a rave. And the only thing that I allow myself to do still is ketamine. What? How does it make you feel? It's I, a disassociative. It's a disassociative, so you're like... It's like when you get up off the couch too fast, but like for a couple Ooh. hours. I mean, people do like a lot and then they go into K-holes and it's like a whole oh, I've never shit. done. I don't do that. K-holes Not since gnarly. I was in high school. But okay, so you so you take it. Is you it like, like snort it. Well, Adderall there's ones you can like, get like there's lozenges you can get if you go to the doctor. Lozenges sound Whoa. fancy. They give you lozenges. They give you infusions and stuff. And you probably know about this. Infusions. I don't know anything about ketamine. You haven't been heard about. Gabe was on the the old H. Yeah, more the old chasing the dragon. That's heroin. Cool. Look at you. But he's a clean man now. Yeah. Clean. How long are you clean? Mm, Eleven years. Hell yeah. I'm sober. Years. I'm sober from alcohol. Thirteen. Thirteen I'm always like, years. Guys, I quit thirteen years ago, and people start clapping. I'm like, I do drugs. I do drugs. <laughs> Before take, you clap, I want clap to tell back. you everything. Let me get one hand. Let me get one hand. Uh, do you ever have you ever snorted Adderall? I remember in college one time. You know yes. the extended release, the little beads. Yeah, you snorted but those. I sit, when in college, <laughs> I snorted the beads, and they all were. In, I was in the college. Uh, bathroom, like the library, and they, they were all just falling out of my nose, and I just didn't. I just thought you could just snort beads, and then I tried crushing them up. What on, does happen with that? They just fall out. It was the, <laughs> it was the dumbest. Oh, oh yeah, 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 so yeah, that doesn't make sense. Yeah, no, so I used to snort Adderall on, on like road trips. That was my like free laps I would give myself. I would yeah. always stop at a Taco Bell and snort Adderall. God, I love Taco Bell. But Adderall's not better when you snort it. It doesn't change anything. It's just I think being it's a crackhead. Maybe quicker or something. But they, they yeah, were thin release, faster. so they would be slow anyway. No, that's not going to work. It was so funny. They were like falling out of my nose when I was like at the laptop. And then I tried to smash them up. That's but like they a were good rolling picture, around. Like you in front of a like a. Yeah, but I was a filmmaker. What the fuck am I doing Adderall for? To write a shit screenplay that nobody's yeah. gonna see? I mean, well, I you'd write it fast. I'm just typing on the desk. It's like one of those like where they're like, you have a week to make a movie. That's yeah. when you snort out. 100%. Everyone. Dude, finals as a film major was so funny. All my friends were like doing like stats, calculus, business stuff. And I'm just over here like, ooh, this is good color grading. I like I that you went to on. school for what you sort of ended up doing. Yeah. That's have impressive. you written a movie? Uh, I pitched stuff. Yeah. Yes. Didn't get sold. I'm not coming on money. Should we all be making our own things though? We are. We, I mean, we want all. people to like pay us, but. We are making. I, I, I want, I want a middle a ground, yeah. like a middle ground, like podcasting, great sketches, great, but like the the traditional side. There's so many hoops and people, and it's you gotta, so annoying. Dude, you did stuff, right? Right? Yes. You like talk to so many different people. You're like, who's that person? Like, we don't know, but her father has a yes. big investor in Peacock. And like, but who are they? Yeah, it's what's so what, it's so no, confusing. So confusing. And the suggestions they give you, it's just like, dude, they, they're like the, the, everything they say is crazy. You're like, no, I already the movie's already written. It's already funny, guys. It's great. I do I'm this. so good at it. I'm so good at. I this. do this. I'm so good at this. I don't know if you saw me, but I smashed in the bell room for 14 people last night. <laughs> did you I see am good me at, at Burbank? <laughs> did you see my flapper show? That's I just sold did out? ketamine and Burbank. Guys, I'm Sign on ketamine. Movie. Sign me. Yeah, it's um, but that's why the middle ground is great. Like the podcasting is the perfect yeah. lane. The sketch is the perfect lane. Well, I think also. But I'll be in your movie, uh, Chris Pratt. Thank you. Yes, Pratt. We're still in, you know? Yeah, but even then, it's like, oh, fly to Maine for like <laughs> no, two lines. No, even I don't they want it. They're like, take off this weekend. I'm like, I don't want to take off the weekend. But that's that's the problem. And it's also like you pitch something and they say, yeah, then you're in development. There's so many fucking different levels. Oh, yeah. Then you're in development for three years and they go, we're not going to do it. You're like, hey, bitch, yes. I wasted three fucking years. Yeah. And then they put it out and all the references are outdated. You're oh. like doing the dab on TV in 2022. So and people are like, this guy's a fucking idiot. And you're like, that's what's cool at one time. <laughs> But that's what it is. Like everyone says, like TV's outdated. And it's like, why is the show? You know, it's just so old. It's like, yeah, but when they did it, maybe it was cool. Yeah. But then it takes three years to get it out, um, and here we are. That's why I'm like, let's just make them on our iPhones. iPhone, baby. I guess I'm the talking, whole, dude. The whole process sucks. I don't care what anyone says. Even if you're like, let's just make a movie ourselves, it's still not fun. Yeah. It is still 16 hours don't you on think set. Adam Sandler's having fun though. 
Honestly, maybe. Yeah, you're right. You but can see still, it in his face. I don't know if he's. But dude, yeah, it's still you're right. Like, it's just there. He's the got main... that Obama effect where he's just worn. <laughs> yeah, like he's an is an icon. He's a hero. We love him. But Sandler in the face is worn out. And Netflix is like, what if we did a movie where you're on a vacation, and your wife cheats on you, but you see a hot waitress, and he's like, I'm in. Yeah. Can David Spade be in it? Well, dude, like, of course. He yeah. ha- he has to now. He the, the 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 contract he signed with fucking Netflix is massive. He has to like release a certain amount of content. So he's probably saying yes to oh, fucking everything. I mean, That's I would great. too, hundred percent. I mean, he, the I, new movie will, he just did fire. By the which way, which one? What's it called? H- Hustle? Something? Yeah, oh, oh yeah, I saw the pop gem? up. It's good. No, not hit, not hitting gems. That was insane. That, but his that was so good. Him. But I think the the Netflix movie he just released, Hustle. It's a basketball movie. It's for oh, like really? for real good. Well, that one he probably comedy? cares about because he is it a comedy? No, 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 no. Oh yeah, yeah, he, he loves basketball. basketball, so he actually cares about it. all the other ones that are like the rom coms. You go on vacation, somebody gets pregnant. He's done it. He's, but don't you think that, that he makes it in Hawaii and all these places so he can hang with his he friends in Hawaii? Does. I think I think somebody told me that something. Yeah, well, like he also that. he also obviously on purpose makes it with friends, so he's just like k- kicking it with friends, and then he has to be on set. But th- but guys, I think what we do is so goddamn fun. It's comparative to so making fun. a movie. Is it's, so unfun. I don't want to sit in a trailer. I don't want to sit in a trailer. It sucks. Dude. Six a.m. I have an audition that's due today that was Boo. due Friday. No, I don't do hate it. it. It's don't do it. Yeah. Like, I don't want to do it. No, Dude. I'm do. I'm reading it. I got a like acting coach. I'm looking at her and, I'm, and she's like, "Do it more like this." And I'm like, "I'm so good at stand up. I just want to go. Like, <laughs> yeah. I'm really talented. Like, I, I don't want to do this. That's I'm like, do you want to come to my flapper show? Like, literally, like. I wish I could just watch you on here. stage and be like, "That's the person." Exactly. The movie. Just yeah. see what you want. I bomb I self tapes all the time because it's just never. They're like, oh, it's so embarrassing. Like the one I did shoot one that I might just send in, but it's like. It's not, I'm like, obviously no. I'm better than this. No, done. Dude, I told, I've said it to you guys before. I literally told my agency and management, do not send my audition. I won't do it. Zero. Yeah. I, I'm done. Done. Well, do you guys tour it. together? Do you guys tour together? Sometimes, yeah. Yeah. Because even when I go like completely alone, like sometimes I go alone. I don't have anyone with me. No, no tour manager, nothing. Horrible. I've made a way. I, I'm able to generate fun. Really? What do you I do? can have fun. I just handle, I just make sure, I go, there's no rules. Like, I don't give myself, like, you're going to go do something. Like, don't you always, like, feel like you're going to go do something in the Sometimes, area? Oh, I yeah. never do. I go, you're in bed the whole time. You're meditating. You're doing, like, I will yeah. make it. And then it's all about the show and the meet and greet. And then that's it. That's it. And then I have so much fun. Oh, those days Watch on the my East Coast sets. where you sleep till, like, 3 p.m. Oh. God, it's the oh, best. Oh, I'm going to New York this weekend. I'm like, I'm. we'll see no one. Yeah. I love it. I absolutely love it. I those mean, times, I, I do like, yeah. But I do, do want to go. In city. Yeah. You're like in Cleveland. You're like, let's see but the rock But you have like and a roll. crew come with you, right? Like camera yeah. crews. That's what I need. I gotta yeah, have but that was like the dude, tour. Just, just for clubs, it's it's yeah. like me and Michael and like maybe a camera guy. But that's yeah. Really it. Yeah. But just, dude, you're on a level where you just bring a feature. Yeah. Like it's, it's, it is more it's fun to bring so bring, much better to bring I bring Josh Potter mostly, but he had, he got a surgery. It's so fun with Josh. We have such a good time. Yeah. When you bring a feature, that's like, that's, I brought Michael once, like maybe like two years ago. I was like, oh, every time I'll try to bring Michael yeah. or somebody else because then you're, you're, you're doing a thing with somebody. Did that hurt when he said, or somebody else? No, well, if he's so doing, like, if he's doing like club know, weekends, or... why did you try to start beef, dude? Right there, you I, I, just want to, I want to tell the truth. I'm here to tell the truth. So if I see something, oh, just we're getting about, into I'm it. Just all about honesty. I am. Yeah. I'm the, I'm Meditate, the truth. I'm just all about... <laughs> Have I lied once? No. Twice. Well, I don't know. Are you on ketamine right lie? now? How much ketamine is in your purse right now? Ketamine. I got it at In and Out. I said I wanted. drug dealer. Where you I wanted white animal sauce. That's when they give you a little animal sauce, baby. Yeah, I think you could trust a drug dealer based on where you want to meet. If he's like, let's meet at a Wendy's parking lot. Lace, don't get it there. But it's like, yo, Chick Fil A on third. You're like, oh man, the Lord, the Lord is here too. Yeah. Well, I just want to say, it was an honor to be at a Green Day concert with you guys. Yes, dude. Vegas, baby, fun. life is beautiful. Life is beautiful. We hung in Vegas. You guys were gone. I mean, there was a moment where I turned back. You were gone. I was. I had to pretend like I had said bye to you. And then you really do it. I was like, oh, okay. catch up next week. Catch up with one of those. We we left. And you were gone. No. You were gone. What? Uh, yeah. But you guys, were dr- you guys drank, right? Yeah. 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 They were drinking. Oh. Yeah, we're sick. Let's get that on camera for 100%. Sure. I it's like not that. 14 I just want to let you guys know they drink. We I'm, drink. They're I'm cool. sick. That's actually our new podcast name. We drink. We drink. I don't drink, but oh, yeah. I had drugs. <laughs> but Green Day was great. Green Day was fantastic. They crushed. They sounded They were even so good. How do, you, how do you have so many hits through so many years? I don't know, yeah, but no. they still look good. I mean, I thought it was going to be. Well, Billy Joe's hair has obviously died, but yeah, what? I. Sorry, Billy Joe. I really was like my. I was like, I'm going to meet Billy Joe. I was so sure I was going to meet yeah. Billy Joe. I kept going back. I do think if it hadn't been COVID, I would have been able to meet him. Because I went back and they're like, oh, because COVID, we can't let the artist in. Because I was like, artist. What you said to him? You're just like, 
What's up? I know the hair's died. Then I'd like, leave. Like, you know what? I would have come up with something good. I mean, oh, you know what I would have yeah. done? I would have flattered him about his movie. I saw his movie. Oh, that's oh, great. I would have loved it. I would have been like, the, oh, I loved your movie. This is my favorite movie. song? Boring, yeah. But you're like, hey, I loved your movie? Yeah. he's like, whoa. That's and a I did. Reference. I liked his movie. I can't remember what it was called. Well, he's a big fan <laughs> of the show. Bring him in. <laughs> he's here. He's here. Ladies and gentlemen, Billy Joel. <laughs> would you Billy have Joel. beat? Would you have beat if he was like, I'm, I'm into it? I'm into it. What's beat? Sexual fuck. intercourse. No, 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 no. No. No, I don't fuck people I'm fans of. What? No. Isn't that no, the whole no, point? No, 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 no. You Zero. Don't, you've never fucked I'm anyone. I'm a girl. You're... If you fuck someone you're a fan of, you're a loser to them. To what? There's no, yeah, there's no. All right. You well, don't like, not another, always. Hey, remember, I'm the girl you fucked in the, at the Life is Beautiful Festival? If you go to another concert and you're like front row and you like wink at him, that's when it gets a little weird. He's like, what? No, no, no. I think, I think. I want to meet him as someone with an artist pass. Like, hey, I'm a comic. You should see my show. Like, Word. I yeah. want him coming to my shows. He should have been at Flappers. Right. But why, but why can't you just, why can't you just flip it and be like, oh, you're welcome that you got to fuck me. Just flip it or in your brain. No, yes, I do think maybe, yes, I can do I mean, I've definitely had, I've, I've hooked up with one fan once and he was very excited. Yeah. And it was like, a little too excited. Did he come fast? Cool. He's like saying yeah, the podcast. Did you jerk promos. him off in the shower? No, no, no. He got, he got better treatment than the actual living wow. boyfriend did. Yeah. Oh. How'd you meet him? After a show? I met him on stage, Jim. Yeah. On stage? Oh, what do you mean? Like meet and greet? He was fucking hot as shit. I don't, I was just, jo I was like joking with how hot he was. I was like kidding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I was overly flirting with these guys. They were out of towners. Out of and, town, um, always the really hot, just like <clears throat> hitting on him. I was never like I wasn't gonna hook up with him, but then afterwards, where he was like, "I'm such a big fan," and then I was like, "Okay," and then Gross. yeah, I was like a little bit like, "Okay," <laughs> from what your mom's house? You're like, "Let me see your cock." No, no, no. Oh. I was like, not still not. I don't want to like. I just felt like if you break the seal of hooking up with a fan as a girl, like it's just different. Like I totally understand if guys want to bang their audience members. That's great. I think that's probably why a lot of guys do comedy. I think that's why ninety nine percent of guys do. Well, because it's like on, there is comedy is better than any sort of like good look thing, any dick size, anything. I think if you're funny, it's the best thing you can be for a guy. Mm. For uh, me, it's like I think it's money, but yeah, I hear you. Oh wait, no, 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 right. Money does trump that. Money trumps everything. Yeah, yeah. A good callback. But if you're for funny enough, body. if you're funny <laughs> enough, you should figure out a way to monetize it. Yeah, and then that turns into the yeah. same thing. Yeah, but most funny people, like really, really funny people, bad at business. Yeah, that's true. So anyway, so but I think money trumps. Dude, you got like a you got a fucking sea do. You're fucking a sea do. A sea do. You'll suck some cock for a sea do. I'll do it. <laughs> Anyways, how much Miami. money would you suck a cock for? Do you guys uh, ask this question every episode? I don't even know if it's how you should be a second. You know what's that's weird? That, the gate code to get in here. <laughs> you know what's weird? I don't know the if the door guy's really tired of ever it. Ever yeah. answer that question? I mean, I, are we talking real? We're talking realistics. Realistics. I would. Um, okay, let's let's get let's get uh, in the nitty gritty. Let's do it for Tesla. Is, is who who's gonna know? Zero people or it's everybody? Up to their discretion. You can't control it. Oh, well, like he might say like nobody will know, but then maybe it's people a are allowed to say podcast. whatever they want. There's no secrets. It's unfair yeah. to even if it gets ask out, it gets out. Secrets. But like, things who happen. gives a shit? Um, dude, that's not even the worst no thing you can do in 2022. Person. Suck a little bit of Wayne. You, you would be so much more relatable, wing, dude. honestly. Dude, that's what I was gonna say. Here's the thing: you suck. Guys a, are sucking dude, cocks more often. Yeah, you're like, it's straight as fuck to suck a cock. Uh, I'd probably do it for like, for like twenty bucks. No, I would do it probably. Hmm, just a new Tesla with autopilot on it. I'm in. The autopilot, by the way, you have to get like, I paid for it, but you still have to get like, allowed do a, to do it. Do you really? Do a costume is, change? I did. Wait, wait, what, what, what do you mean? I'm very in the Tesla world right now. What do you mean? Well, I, 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 can't I, just... I bought like the autopay, but they do like a, I guess they, I don't know this for a fact, but I think they like check your record. Like you have to have like a perfect record. Like really? it'll beep if you go into another lane or something. It's keeping that information. And then you have to have like a perfect score, which I don't think is possible for a girl. Uh, <laughs> I thought that's the point. Is like if and you're a shitty driver, Asian, they're like, uh -oh. "We'll get it from here." I think they should. No, I think it should be the lower your score, the more they they auto. They, Hundred percent. But are you, they have like a sort of auto auto drive, but it's more of a you like the Tesla lane, in a lane type shit. Yeah, I didn't know there was a score involved. So you're playing like a video I fucking game? didn't either. I would have been not putting my makeup on as much on in the car. So you have it, but you don't have it. Yeah. What How the hell? I so can know. you use the feature or no? No. What? So you bought the feature, but you can't use it. You need to yeah. manifest harder, okay? Yeah. We're manifesting Tesla. I need a baby. driver. I can't be the one driving. Yeah, but like, how, that's that's what I'm I need so about. confused. Click a button, sit back. Let me send tweets. Yes, I'm so home. confused. So you spent the money on the auto drive, whatever yeah. the hell it's called, and they literally won't let Ten you grand. use it. Mm -hmm. No, 
No, I have to look into it. It's the thing I just realized. Yeah, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think you. <laughs> you know click a happened. button. You're like, whoa! I just totaled the car. What's happening? <laughs> is Matt Black played? If I get it, I, Matt, Matt Black, Black with gloss is cool. Like if the accents are shiny, but like the Matt Black, mm -hmm. it's I think I, it's cool. I think it's a little played. It is oh! a little played. I think it's a little. But I don't played. want my I don't want my rap to be like. Red I want seats. it to be a little played. Facts. That's fun. It is. <laughs> it is. <laughs> I almost got in their period in his car. Um, sure. Got your red seats. Do you have That's the white or the black seats? I have uh, white seats. That's wild. I love the white seats. That's, That's really wild. Great. So what is it, what's the color right now on the outside? I think it's white seats. It might you be black. think? I can't remember, honestly. Is it the color of ketamine or not? I don't know. I don't do ketamine. I just have it. True. Huh? <laughs> I haven't, I honestly haven't done it. I was going to go to a rave with my friend after the shows, but I was too what tired. Oh, after, well. My friend's like, I have acid. I don't acid. know if you know what makes you not tired. Ketamine. Yes. I was no, going to say good attitude. Oh, okay. Good <laughs> I was going to say a little bit of EDM, a little bit of Dead I haven't done coke since I quit drinking. EDM. Drake's new oh, album. Those two What's happening? Drake's album pissed me off. Like, I know that's what not. What is happening? Do what you want, Drake, but that was not. No, no, no. Take that back. Don't do what you want. Well, I'm only saying that Do what you have been doing. Right. Don't try to switch it up. Yeah. One I, more song. So I was like, <laughs> I'll kill myself. You had a real like, Johnny Manziel moment. Wait, where you do want it to be the same or you want it to be different? No, no, no. I want it to stay in his mind. Motherfucking lane. Last song we talked about. Last, last song, song absolute fire. And the all the 14 tracks before that, stop. It sounded, Every song is. It sounded like you were calling like Malibu passages rehabs, like waiting line. I, I, <laughs> I, I'm I'm beside myself. I'm beside have myself. Have you ever been? Have you ever toured it? I just see the commercial all the time. Oh. The dude was so zenned out. I want to go on a tour. Honestly, Let me see dude, where I could end up. I went to a resort recently, just after the tour, just to relax. Oh, you did? Uh -oh. Yeah, it felt a little like, um, like had there not been alcohol, I'd be like, I get it. Like it was very, like I felt at peace with myself. I could hear my heart rate. Were you? Was it like silent retreat? Or silent. <gasps> Wild. No, How many no, days? What? How many days? How many days? Three. No, it wasn't. It wasn't. It was like a like library sound. It wasn't like you had to be quiet. People right? were like whispering. Yeah, yeah, oh, okay. Yeah. No, there's like retreats the where you can't make eye contact. Thing, yeah. You mm -hmm. can't make eye contact. You can't. I want to do that, but that's. Oh, Jared no. Leto was in one during the pandemic. He came out and was like. Well, wasn't he what? one and he didn't know that COVID was existing? Yeah. That's so funny to me. <laughs> that's you come hilarious. out and you're like, oh, nice <laughs> mask, funny. idiot. Whoa, oh, is this a big country. trend? Oh, I don't know why that's yeah, scared Yeah, there's, there's semen on that sock. 100%. That really that's, how made it. Like, oh. that's actually every time Gabe finishes an episode, he nuts in that sock. Oh. Yeah, that's the only way he can get it. That's his new drug? Yep. Oh, yeah. You got to find your vice. Ketamine. What's your vice now? My vice? Comedy. Yes. I stopped drinking coffee even. What? Really? Yeah, I talk on the phone a lot. That's my Hold move. on, you stopped drinking coffee? Mm -hmm. How? Because of my, my TMJ. Oh. oh. Did you like have a meltdown? Because if I stopped drinking coffee, I'd literally have a meltdown. I think I'd be nauseous and throw no. up. And... No. There's I actually no way like, I, quit. I get off on quitting things. I like quitting things. It feels good. Oh, I God. I like seeing what I can do. Because I have like trouble with self-discipline, so then sometimes I can just completely cut something out and... So you're, like I quit, I quit drinking. I've never had a drink again since I was twenty-five. Wow. Mm -hmm. So how long has it been no coffee? I don't know, a couple weeks. But since you I can had my still thing. crush one of these fucking. Yeah, but well, I'm not supposed to drink this. Right? This is just for aesthetics. Just on the show. No, to be honest, this is kind of a relapse. Oh fuck! Uh -oh. But I, but I, I just got really excited by your monster. Yeah, but it's, but fridge. it's monster. So if you're gonna relapse, and I do let like, it be off a of monster. Yes. No. Yeah. I, I, Crack I, I feel like it goes open. with my brand and. Yeah. Yeah. Monster is essentially the ketamine of liquids. It is so good. It's yeah. something. Just the logo of the M. I love how people got the Monster Energy logo tattooed on them. Multiple. That I don't love it. Actually, I don't like it at all. You don't like Monster? I think it'd be a no, good, no, I actually love good neck tattoo. Neck tattoo is wild. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. I'd give a um, Monster one. Did, have you ever been to like a meditation retreat? I've been to like, I've done like ayahuasca and stuff. But oh, I've been can you please hear a lot tell about, about that? that. Ayahuasca retreats. Can you retreats, about that? You follow a shaman. Yeah, I have, well, I, it's funny, I have a new shaman, like, I have my old ayahuasca shaman who I love, and now at this point, if I do ayahuasca, it's kind of just to hang out with him, because I, like, love him so much. Cool, I, I mean, if he started time. a call, I would literally, like, let me join it. But then I have a new shaman who's telling me to not do hallucinogens. Why? He never said ever. don't do ketamine, so that's why I was going to bring it as my drug of choice to the rave. Potluck. Rave. To the <laughs> Dude, so wait, the shaman yeah. telling you not to do psychedelics, isn't that shooting himself in the foot? No, because he's not a like drug shaman. He's like a spiritual shaman and what he did what a bunch of drugs. Virgin like, shaman, when shaman was, is that? When, no, he's done all the hallucinogens. Good. When he was like a kid, he grew up in Mexico. <laughs> Where did you I'm find in it, this you guys, man? I'm in it. I'm in it. Where did you find this man? I found him on the internet. No, I found him shaman. through com. my like my chakras. Kind of. I have like a transformational coach. 
What the hell's happening? I'm getting, I, I'm leveling <laughs> up to a place I don't even know how I to know, explain. I know, that's cool. Yeah. We just got ran, because I just have a normal therapist, boo, boring. No, you know, no, I got to no. get some cool spiritual no, shit. No, I'll send you some shit. The Jim I, Fortin I, I gotta podcast. I got to get like a lens crafter's Everybody account. Everybody listening, the Jim Fortin podcast. Go there. Jim Fortin? The Jim Fortin. F-O-R-T-I-N. Jim Fortin. All right, no free plus. We'll cut that. But, uh, 100%. <laughs> oh yeah, it is free. I know. No, um, no, I but, got, so what's, a, it, what's a transformer coach is just like like be like this is who I want to be. How do I get there? Yes, it'll be like so. What are like what are the what are your goals for the ninety days we're working together? Ninety days, and then fiance, great show. <laughs> and to be married to stay to get married at the end to, to marry a you, foreigner? Jim Fortin. No, he's not. I'm not his type. So goddamn. You hear that? That's the sound of hard. You know what else is hard? My cock. Blue Chew, baby, ladies and gentlemen, you know what the fuck is going on. Cock time. Do you want a hard cock? Yep. Answer me again. Yep. Yes. Dude, I do. I want to walk around with a hard cock. I want to put my fucking coat on it because it's so goddamn hard. I want to yeah. walk around. I want to knock things I do off my cock. I want to do pull on it. Dude, me too. P90X on my cock. P90X. How do I get that? How do I get that? BlueChew.com. Yes. Blue Chew. Well, what is Blue Chew for those new listeners? I don't know. It's the same active ingredient as Viagra and Cialis, but in a chewable tablet and at a fraction of the cost, dude. You don't got to freaking go to a CVS pharmacy. Hey, excuse me. I have an al dente cock. You don't have to do that. It shows up in discreet packaging right to your freaking door. What is al dente? Soft. Oh. Soft. Well, mine's the opposite. Exactly. Hard, but dude, again, it's just it's it's also shipped to your door and it's free. It's free. The all shipping. You, all you gotta do uh, is pay for pay the for shipping. shipping. Yeah, yeah. The shipping. Yeah, but then again, you gotta pay for the package to get that package, baby girl. You already know what the fuck's going Can on. Can I ask you a question, dude? What should the shipping is? What like forty five dollars? No, no. Four nine nine. Whoa. Four nine nine. Maybe Whoa. maybe five if the recession's really still hitting. Five dollars for shipping? Are we really in a recession? I don't. Who knows, dude. I don't. What the I don't. Going on. Yeah, I don't know about money. The interest rates and stuff. Yeah, if it goes two terms or whatever. Yeah. Recession. Well. That's crazy, because you, know, you can get an erection in a recession. You know what's crazy? I'm Eminem. You know what's crazy? Is all that kind of math is, is hard for me to understand. Hard. Hard. I use that word on purpose, because we're doing a freaking blue chew ad about hard cocks. Yeah, and also, it's what? a round two. Dude, I know, because all these young guys are like, oh, I don't have a problem getting hard. Oh, yeah? What about, what about when you come? What about, what about that middle section where you want to get hard again because your girl's horny again? Because she loves your cock so much. What do you do? <laughs> you got to take a freaking blue chew, okay? Yeah, dude, so look. They've been a large supporter of this podcast, and we support them. You guys support us. Everybody's in this together. Ball in, ball out. So what you can do today mm. is go to bluetooth.com and use promo code SOCKS at checkout and just pay $5 for shipping. That's $5 of shipping. Dude, promo code SOCKS. That's all you need. First month free. Shipped. And thank you to Bluetooth for sponsoring this podcast. You can also go to bluetooth.com for more details and important safety information. Don't overuse your cock. Or... Damn. Yo, you know what it is. It's HelloFresh, baby. You got farm fresh. You got pre-portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. Skip the trips to the grocery store. I went there yesterday. Dude, I'll tell you what. I went to what? the grocery store yesterday. And this guy goes, yo, man, I used to love watching your content. Used, used to. to. Bring your phone right now. Excuse me. I don't. But, but now I'm in my, he probably didn't mean that. He probably meant he like, didn't. you're funny. I love you. But the fact that he used past tense, I'm in my head. Guess what? I wouldn't have had to think about this morning how to use HelloFresh. You you wouldn't have to go to the grocery store. I don't store. gotta go to the grocery store. No, dude. And let me tell you something. It comes in pre-packaged and it has five recipes. So if you have a date night, dude, yes. don't go out to a freaking restaurant like Stupid. Outback Steakhouse, like a really fancy one, and spend uh, two thousand dollars on goddamn food. Okay, why don't you just sit down? You're spending two thousand dollars at Outback Steakhouse, dude. I get a lot of steak. Use HelloFresh, yeah. okay? No, because, it's great. And also, if you huh. live alone. Yeah, you, oh, I, I don't want to go on dates. I'm just by myself. Good. Now you have leftovers for the next day. Dude, I used HelloFresh all during pandemic, and I had and I ordered uh, the all, all the and I had each recipe. I had two meals, so I'd make the recipe for the dinner. Wake up, freaking veal would you parmesan. Ha what'd you have for breakfast this morning, dude? Let me tell you something. I did not have HelloFresh, so Why? I had a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and pretzels. I'm oh, a grown man. God. I need HelloFresh. You do. You do, but here's the thing, man. What? It's it's this the portions are exact what you need, so you don't have like nine pounds of paprika the next day. It's really nice. And they have stuff like stuffed peppers, Tuscan spice shrimp. Tuscan? 
chicken sausages, cucumber salad, stuffed pita pockets. Dude, it's foolproof, step-by-step recipes meant to enjoy cooking, okay? You enjoy the experience and a stress-free summer. Plus, HelloFresh cuts back on the time spent in the kitchen. And since you're a lovely Stiff Socks listener, uh -huh. we are going to hook it up for you by going to HelloFresh.com slash socks 16 yep. socks 16 sweet 16 remember that show go to hellofresh.com slash socks 16 and use code socks 16 for up to 16 free meals Bro. and three free gifts wild hellofresh.com slash socks 16 use code socks 16 for up to 16 free meals and three free gifts god damn you just you just you help manifest with this Person. He just, he shows you like where your blocks are. So like if I'm talking to him and I'm like, like for instance, you know, I want to do a special and then I'll go, well, I really want a special, but, um, I feel like I want my jokes to be, you know, and I'll go, well, why do your jokes need to be like that? And I'll be like, because of that. And I'll go, well, who told you that? Yeah. And I go, well, I guess my agents or whatever. I go, do your agents know anything? I go, no. Or whatever. You know so what I mean? Like he kind of just sees where the... you're limiting yourself and, ah, and this seems like therapy to me. Yeah, but, but it's more... with like a solution. It's like immediate. Like, oh, see, I like the solutions. I have a therapist and he's just like, well, that's for you to find like out. This. I'm like, I guess, but like, I'm such a yes or no guy. Like, just tell me what to do and I'll do it. No, it's the, this coach is like, he's so awesome. And it's like, I just like learned how to make money too from him. Like, I just learned how I was like. Money laundering. I was laund I was putting all my money schemes. in the laundry. Um, yes. well, you're putting all the money on your fucking bed as you're jerking off. That's the problem. Cool. I was dirtying my laundry. I was. I understand. Or that. my, I was. Dirty laundry. Let's go. Dirtying. We I'll go with, you when, you, when you misstep in a word, we go with it. Yeah. <laughs> we have to. What are we going to do? So, okay. So this ayahuasca thing. I'm sorry to. to yes. I, I'm just fascinated it was great. by this shit. Where uh, do you do it? Yeah, has so, to be Palm Springs. Yeah, where Palm and Desert, then Joshua and then Church. what did it two do for places you? I've done it. I did it. Okay, so I met my ayahuasca shaman. He was in the audience when I was performing at the Comedy Store. Okay, and he was a thing. I'm telling you, like when I got off stage, I was like, like "Who is saw. this beautiful person?" Yeah, just amazing. It was him and his like apprentice. Whoa. So it was just a guy and a girl, and I just like I I didn't like my set. Like I was like I'd had I'd gone on like a bad date that day. I was yeah. like annoyed, so I went like straight from this date and was like all pissed off on stage. And then like they just were like good positive vibe people and I remember high fiving him. And then the GM at the time, or I don't know what he was at that point. He was working there, one of the managers, was like, Oh, later on I'd been like chain smoking cigarettes. It was right after Brody died. So I was still like I was like going through it. Brody Stevens is super yeah. funny comic. He just was like our boy, you know, he was at the yeah. comedy store like every day. So So I was just staying late and kind of like smoking cigarettes in the back and just being like a bad girl. And then I go into the office and the the GM is like, oh, my friend wanted to meet you. He just left. And he was like, you high-fived him. And I was like, oh, I like that guy. And he, he was like, he's your favorite comedian. Or he said, you're his favorite comedian that he oh, always sees here. And I was like, really? Because in my head, I was like, I just fucking blew. Mm. I hated my set. So I was like, okay. And then I was like, oh, he must be hitting on me. He's like, he's gay. I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm listening. I'll I change guess. that. That's yeah. exciting. No, I just was like, okay. No, I do actually offer to blow him all the time. Yeah, yeah there you go. No, so but he, um, <laughs> so then he, I was talking to him and I was like, oh, I really, he was cool. And he goes, yeah, he's a breathwork teacher. And I was like, oh, I love breathwork. I love, have you guys done breathwork? I don't, I don't I've know. i heard that about it. Breathwork's awesome. We should go to a fucking breathwork thing. So I'm very, they I'm have very them. tangent. All of breathwork shit. is for, uh, what, just to relax your breath Breathwork, well, or? all of it is for the same thing. All of it is to like, to come. get yourself to, <laughs> to the you highest level where come. you can come yourself into a Netflix special. No, just like, you know, the highest, it just helps you like level up. I don't know, in your life. What's this thing? My, my, my friend taught me this. I don't know what it's called. You go. Oh, I can't remember what that's called. You know, um, if you feel so fucking good, you do it for like a minute, three, three uh, revolutions. That yeah, dude, it's like literally like drinking an espresso. I, I had mean, a. Uh, oh my god. Yeah, it's I had incredible. a. I saw some on TikTok where you put your feet up on the couch like this and some yeah. marine nap. You sleep for eight minutes. I tried that shit. Did not work. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not cut out to it's be like in the marine prank. corps. Yeah, probably. That's how you get. I'm a fucking ass. ass ready to be eaten on my yeah. couch. Just me and my cat. And I'm like, why am I not rested? So breathwork, breathwork. So he was like, I'm a breathwork. He goes, I'm a breathwork. I was like, Oh, I love breathwork. I want to go. And then he's like, All right, actually, I'm lying. He's an he's an ayahuasca shaman. Yeah. And I was like, I because I put Even it out there, better. I wanted to do it. I was like, Yes, I want to do Man, it. I want to do it. And he's so like, bad. He's doing a thing this weekend, and someone just dropped out. Like, you can do it. So I called him up. I canceled my spots that weekend, and I just drove. He was doing it in this at this place in like near San Diego. 
Okay. Hmm. This like yoga retreat center. And so I went and there were like 20 people and I brought like a bucket and a sleeping bag. And did they tell you what to bring? Is, or you were just like, guessing? yeah, is the bucket okay. for urine it's to throw up. Yeah. Oh, okay. what type, what type of bucket was like a Home Depot bucket? Yeah. But like, what's the <laughs> setup? What are you sleeping on? Like you doing? you just sleep bag? on like a pad your fucking and dreams, like your, thing. your vibes, or? but you, and then, so the first day we did like breath work and then this m- mapacho, I think is what it's called. We chugged like nicotine and that's supposed to oh, so shit, nicotine's supposed to be sick. the masculine and then ayahuasca is a feminine so then you do the masculine in the morning and it just makes you throw up and you just yeah. purge everything but everything you're, you're doing is like spit? kind of kind of it's what it feels like wow. it's and sick. you chug it and chug um like you take the cup of it and then you chug lukewarm water like a gallon of lukewarm warm water a gallon throw, for real mm-hmm, and you throw Jesus. all of it up and it like cleanses you and it gets you ready for it, but oh. it's like supposed to be like the masculine going in first, yeah. And then they come in with the pussy, that puss, that yep. ayahuasca puss. That but then, so the cat. ayahuasca, Do you smoke ayahuasca. I'm sorry, I'm so no, a it's a cup. Drink it's like right a, out of a cup. It's a drink, and it doesn't Alan, taste good. And then they give you like it? a grape, like oh, a grape. Yeah, but Drip. my shaman was saying it's like there's a sacrifice for like the medicine and the me- and like the bad taste is like one yeah. of the sacrifices, you know. How mm. much ayahuasca? Uh, uh, they wait. pour like they mix it with. I don't know what he mixes it with, but it was like poured to like, like you know, the cups like that big. <laughs> yeah, it's like that big, and then you drink it and it tastes, you know, not good. But you, he, they offer you three cups a night, so it's over six hours. Wow. And so every so two hours, your he offers body's cleansed, cup. and then you drink this, and then you're just. And we do breath work before it, and then we do the yeah. And, and it's like very it. safe because someone's always watching you. Yeah, mm-hmm. I so mean, I don't f- know if it's always safe, honestly, but right, it, it right, has right, always right. felt safe to me. And he's like know. watching you, like spiritually. Yes, yeah, so no, like, everyone's no, watching you. There's nobody there's, from Kaiser Permanente there. Yeah, no, but no, like no one's in scrubs. Yeah, so you drink it, and then what? You just start entering some people have different some people see a lot more i have like a i see but it's more of like a rational site like i can like i don't remember like well no i guess i do remember how things look like i had been the last one i did was actually really weird or the not the last one the second one i did um because you do two in a weekend so that's i've done six times i've done three weekends the second weekend i did the first night i was dealing with i had been dating this guy that like was like fucking with me he just like didn't like wasn't didn't like me you know but then would also be like well, should we have kids <laughs> you yeah. know what i mean it was like, like, it was just like on, a weird, i was like anxiously attached to this guy and i was like, like i gotta get just, away from this guy i just want to jerk off in your mouth i just want to jerk you i just want you to jizz in your own mouth but you know what i mean when you're like you don't you know that this isn't even the thing you want but i don't know if it happens for guys but you just like get like hooked like no i get it yeah, yeah it was you're just like, like i knew i had to get out i just like but i couldn't like pull the trigger because we were friends too so then and like kind of working together but he uh i had so the first night i was like i have to just get rid of this like i just have to end this and because i even had told him i was like can you not call me during the weekend i'm gonna be busy and he kept calling me i was like like you don't listen to me yeah (laughs) but um he just wasn't i just was like okay but i was like i gotta get rid of so the first night was like about that so like before i went into it i was like i want to like cleanse myself from that feeling of like being like attached to men and just sort of like love myself more so then the vision i got was It's mother ayahuasca. So I feel the presence of like a woman come to like show me things. Mm. And so I had like my life was a tree that was going up like this. And there were like branches on each side. And so I was like, all right, let's go through the branch where I marry this guy. Like where we just I'm like, all right, I'll just like make this work with this guy. So I went through the branch and we were like at his house and we had a kid. We like got married and we had a kid and we were standing over this crib in his house and the kid is like fucked ugly. up. Oh, I mean, ugly, like barely a human. Like it's like bones, like with skin over it, and the eyes are over, like on the edges. Like wow. it was like folded up skin and it was breathing. And we were like, what did we do? We looked at like, we shouldn't have done this. Yeah, yeah. And then we both started to get old and shrivel up and everything got like really dark. Wow. Fuck. And then we just died. Right. And then I could, I couldn't see the other side, but I could see like, I couldn't see exactly what was happening, but I could see like fruit growing on the tree and like brightness and stuff like that. And I was like, oh, I got to be done with this motherfucker. Like there's no hope, like anything, like if I, they would be the wrong choice. It was really cool. Then the second night I was like, what do I need to do for my career? Because this was like two or three years ago. And she was like, you have your guy audience. You need to bring up your girl audience. And she's like, and then she showed me like Powerpuff Girls, like three girls. <laughs> yeah. And then I had my fucking podcast with oh, my three shit. girls. And wow. it brought me my Trash girl Tuesday. audience and I didn't even fucking remember. And it's totally what we're doing. And I realized that like in the middle of like on our like 40th episode, I was like, 
Oh my God. Yeah. This is exactly what I was told to do. You should have said that out loud on the podcast. I like, definitely have said it on the oh, podcast. Really? Yeah. Guys, it's <laughs> happening. And they're like, anyway. Yeah. That's wow. So and that and the people... podcast is huge. Like it's all of my fans yeah. are like girls. Yeah. Now. Not all. No, of we them, the, I like my boyfriend. We were at the the comic store together maybe like a week ago and then we announced your name. It, it's like they fucking so love They yeah. love you. Isn't that so it's fun? Gr- I mean, the podcast wow. is awesome. Because I've been there for. I mean, I've been yeah. there forever. And it's just like they just they just the eyes. Once the yeah. eyes are on you, it's like you already have all the work. But I also like developed. I got better. I mean, I went through some weird phases at the comedy store after Birdie died. I went. Cra- I was like carrying on because I would go on so late. It's and they were so tired. Like yeah. half the audience would leave, yeah. and then they were tired. And it's not their fault. They're just fucking tired. It's so I would come there. out. Someone had like a fake sword in the back. I just came out and I would start like smacking the tables like i was just doing crazy shit just to wake them up and stuff but yeah, everyone's yeah. like do you remember your sword phase <laughs> <laughs> i do remember my sword phase what's funny is you say in los angeles that's like pretty normal your yeah. sword phase like yeah yeah of everyone, course. everyone, everyone goes through that everyone's yeah, yeah. like their britney moment you know so but, but it's fun do you like performing at the store i love it i'd be a good pass there i would that's like the dream are you doing like development spots and stuff some yeah yeah it's more like just the belly room and the main room but like that's a place i don't want to like rush it because i feel like yeah. that's like everyone like kind of like big mad dog energy everyone there's nice to me now but but I don't do feel you think like... the mad dog energy is a thing we need to get over because 100 yeah that's what like holds us but, back it's like worrying yeah. about like what other comics think and stuff oh, like dude, that that's... are you passed to the cellar no I never did you audition. I never auditioned. I never either because I was like, I don't want to fucking get well, rejected or. Well, dude, because yeah. it's, it's that, but it's also like in my head, I'm like, I just want to go where I'm like loved and like appreciated, and to and I. They're just, like, like mean to you at the cellar if you're not. Li- but that's the, like a New York yeah. energy. You think, it's right? so weird. I'm just like, what? I like, I don't know. I've honestly, I got passed right away at the comedy store. I'm one of the <laughs> Let's ever. Go. Uh, I've always been able to park in the parking lot. But girl, um, I've been paying twenty two dollars for that lot right up the <laughs> fucking bitch. Every time. But I do think that like, so I don't know what the experience of like not already being in at the comedy store is, but I, when people are like, I'm scared at the comedy store, it's like, I don't think people are shitty like, people. But I've been in LA since 2015. So since I've been doing like all the stand up this whole time, they've seen me in the phases of like just a guy signing up for potluck on Mondays to now who is this guy moving tickets. Right. So, but now the appreciation is there. So like everyone's like very nice to me. Yeah. I get that. But like, I think that that meanness in the beginning is like good. Cause now you're like, I feel like I'm not worthy enough in my head, but now they're like, nice. Well, like, we oh, didn't deserve that? it. You don't deserve to just roll in. Yeah, and yeah, like, yeah, yeah, you yeah. know. But no, I, but that's what I'm saying. I'm glad that it was like that kind of like the cold shoulder in the beginning. But I think I got passed because I didn't know the comedy store was a thing. I had just been in oh, New York, yeah. just like head down doing jokes, like just trying to get good there. Yeah, yeah. Is that where you guys know each other from New York? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. yeah, we know each other a long time. Yeah. I know. I couldn't believe I wasn't following you. Sorry. I mean, you weren't following me either, but that's okay. You guys didn't follow each other? We no, it was so weird. Too. I was wow. like, I fucking was like, holy shit. Boy, it's been good though. Her? I've been enjoying it. No, he wasn't, but that's okay. No, but now we follow each other. Yeah, and now it's not. But I know. I don't. And in two weeks, we can unfollow. It each is other. weird when. No, it is weird when you're like friends. On, you're like, oh, did you unfollow? Okay. Because I don't. The worst is when somebody that you didn't want to follow in the first place unfollows you. You're like, I'll fucking stab I did a cleanse, your dude. goddamn eucalyptus plants. All right. I went through all of my. I had a dream. Okay, so the shaman I'm working with is like. Yeah, I kind of like this. So I have a lot of questions. Yeah, the I so the think shaman, we're not but the this, shaman yeah. that I'm working with told me not to do. Um, hallucinogens because mm. when he was like very young like maybe 13 I think he did um, what was it nine weeks I think of different hallucinogens so they just oh, gave shit. him maybe every 13? drug yeah, yeah I did that when I was like 13 but it was like to see what I was allergic to you know? yeah they're like, they're like bing, bing, bing. <laughs> yeah exactly wheat flour all that ayahuasca yeah, yeah. Was a all of a sudden time. he's fucking puking and shitting in a bucket but so okay so um, he did all of them and he said that it took like I think there were 52. I don't know if there were actual shamans or like the spirit of shamans had to help him like get back into his body. Oh, wow. Cause you go to like, you know, the places. Yeah, how long does it take to just come back and be like, this is where I started. Or With ayahuasca whenever. for me, I w- I was like a little, I performed the last time I did it was in Chicago and I had zanies right after that. And oh, I wow. had a good two nights of shows, but, you know, I was still a little bit like yeah. a little more of this, yeah, but I yeah. like being like that on stage. I'm trying to be like that all the time. Yeah. So like so really if, connecting. Like so really if your like, shows started on like a Friday, you did it on like a Thursday. I, yeah. I did oh, them right before. Wow. Yeah. Wow. 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 So you're always still yourself, but you're just, in a you different... don't leave your, like you go places, but you're still you. It's not like you don't lose your, like, you think a lot of people get broken up with after ayahuasca retreats. Yeah. I feel like that's like, uh, it only makes sense for the person who does it. Cause on the other hand, it's like, yeah, this fucking crazy bitch went dead ayahuasca then broke up with me. Mm-hmm. But now on your side, of the, you're like thinking about it. You're like, yeah, yeah, I saw everything I needed. Yeah. Well, also it's also like, weird maybe to do ayahuasca and not make a life change. Like that would be odd right. to go through that like transformative prop, uh, like 
yeah. whole thing and be yeah. like, no, nah, I think like, I think I'm good. I need to be an Amazon dude. Prime member. Like, that's yeah. it. That's what yeah. you got out of this. <laughs> you, you don't want to do a thing. My shaman was like, because I had one that was very guilty because I was like, I realized I'd been talking so much shit on this like ex-boyfriend. It's actually the one I was just talking shit on. <laughs> it's a habit I like. I don't know why. He's a nice guy. It's Actors. not his fault. He's a nice guy. All it's right. not his fault. Lights get jerked off. He, you know, As he took do. his jerkins. But, um, took his jerkins is the saddest thing I've ever heard. I had a whole... <laughs> I had a whole. Don't get jerkins. your jerkins. <laughs> Just have a fucking. Dinner it was bell. like that sad. It was that sad too. But I, I had a whole vision of him. I, I had a whole vision of not just him, but all the people that I kind of was like still had like the poison for. Like I was still kind of like annoyed with yeah, or resentful yeah, yeah. towards. I saw them, saw my interactions with them on their side. Oh. So which was good. It was good for me because it was like. It, it like I'm not right. Nobody's right, right? So it's like I just have like the things that I want and I believe and yeah. my side of things. And then did you like kind of forgive them after that? I did, and then I felt so much guilt. And he just randomly addressed like afterwards in our sort of debriefing the next day. He was like, you know, if you guys are having some feelings of guilt and stuff, you don't have to reach out to the person and say anything. You can just start acting a different way now. And oh, that was good incredible. because the guilt is not guilt should just be a tool that shows you what you need to to learn from what, what you don't like about what you did and what you want to because uh, I don't want to be fucking one of those bitches that's like on my fourth step every you know what I'm talking about yeah hey come on hey <clears throat> no I like that so let me ask you this who do you think has brought you more success in your career your agent or the shamans uh, my shamans 100% 100% would you cut 10% to your shaman yeah great I love it should I I need a shaman yeah, like, I, no, I'm, I'm happy gonna with send everything you, I'm, I'm doing. I'm going to hook you up with all my people. Dude, I, I got I, good people. Like, like I off, off, just... off podcast, I really, this, the ayahuasca thing, and I, I think, really, really, yeah. I've been talking about this for the last, like, fucking month. I it's really just so frustrating this. that my new shaman's like, you can't, I'm like, are you sure I can't, I can't? Oh, can't do psychedelics? He doesn't want me to do ayahuasca so anymore, because he, he said in his dream, and he can take me in dream time to, like, through an ayahuasca trip, because yeah. he's opened all the portals. Um, ah, this guy's a virgin. Listen, I think we but all. But he doesn't do charge a lot. Ayahuasca. You know what I mean? It's like I'm not so being ripped off. He do? doesn't like charge me a lot of money. Like, like I don't do you, know what to say. Like he's got to be like, he's there's no like. Like what, are you just taking like Nyquil PM. Like what are you actually doing when you go there? But I'm telling you, I've had crazy he, since I started working with this guy. I've had dreams that answer all my questions. Like uh, I had a oh, dream. dream. I had a dream. Yeah, like I like I do think if I'm like I want to do ayahuasca tonight, he could take me on an ayahuasca trip. No ayahuasca. Without needed. ayahuasca. How what much, the hell? Remotely, I have candles. Remote ayahuasca? How yeah. much is this? Do you pay him in like tranquility? How, what do you? What, how Vibes, much is it? Chakras. How much I pay? I paid him a very small amount. Okay, because I, I could have always paid for my it. My therapist doesn't take my insurance, so I pay a Isn't lot for so therapy. Annoying. Oh, it's the worst. Also, can we address the thing I say all the time that we, we look, look alike? alike? Is that annoying that I keep no. saying it? I like. No, love I, it. I, I. Camera, get a good hard. Don't look our like at don't this. structure. I have fucking so much makeup on though. My real structure. Same. My I mean, you guys, yeah, you guys look. I If I look crazy, guys, it's because I woke up a little early and I got on TikTok and I started using the phone. Did you just type in like TikTok, stiff socks, makeup routine? I bookmarked this girl that came up on my, and she, they put like a thing on her face and like, follow these lines. I was like, I'll try it. And then. It's great. Oh, so like a bunch of like contour and shit. Mm -hmm. So now I have like, I, 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 I'm just saying I, I might not look my true self. I'd like to say this real quick. You do seem. Because we've had long conversations in the past, but it's been a, it's been a, a little bit since we've actually sat down and like had a long conversation. You seem way more like you seem lighter to me. Yes, no, totally. I was heavy, and then yeah. I was like, and you bring it on. You like you don't even know you're dragging it into like all your conversations. Yeah, bumming people out. You yeah, know but I mean, you never bum me out. But like, but it's like something's going on. Yeah, yes. I always had this feeling. There's a percentage of you that was that some something is. Well, I happening. remember my but ex boyfriend. Feel... One of my ex boyfriends. You were like, oh, yeah. And then I was like, what? And then now I'm like, oh. I look like, like whoa. Oh, dude. Oh, I, I forgot. Something yeah. Clicked. We had a long conversation about that. Yeah. You were like, are you sure? Yeah. Like, you were like, <laughs> yeah. we're like a friend. You're like, are you sure you want to do this? Are you this? good? Yeah, yeah, What yeah. happened? You were just talking about a relationship. I, like I started dating a guy that we both knew. And he was like, and I told him. And he was like, wasn't I going to buy a couch off you or something? There was some reason I was at your house. Well, uh. You were at my house. Or was because I gonna look at your apartment? No, because we were gonna do the thing. We were gonna do a uh, sex. Nope. What is it called when people sit down and uh, intervention? Oh, for my academy. Yeah. Oh. No. Drinking? That's right. We were gonna do an intervention for that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. For you or for somebody else? No, for, for someone friend. else. For our friend. And then it turned out that I was the one that needed the intervention. <laughs> well, it's like, sort of turned into that. Dating? You went. Yeah. You're dating him? And yeah. I was like. <laughs> I mean, could you went through all the elements and I was like, are you? 
Are you sure? You were like, how big is his deck? And I was like, it's pretty big, actually. Oh, that was the Do one. Do I know this guy? Uh, yes. Well, It's I'll so tell. crazy. It's so not. When I talk to this person, by the way, now, when, yeah. he, when I run into him, it's so weird. I have no. Have you always been a relationship type of person? Or you just end you up seem that really, way? Oh, not really. Not really. I Well, I always had like a guy friend I really liked that was like, not like had a crush on, but was like my friend that I yeah. confided in and everything. And then I had like a boyfriend I didn't really like that I would like talk shit on. And I thought that was normal. Do yeah. You have, do you have brothers? Yeah. Yeah. Only brothers. Yeah. Yeah. You, and, and in the best way, you have a very like. Masculine. Yes. But, but it's not. It's, no, there's no yeah. knock on it. Actually, it's it's, no, it's, it's it. a really yeah. It's a really like sunglasses on brother time. Woo, woo. Yes. Hell yeah, brother! Buy my sunglasses if you want to be like me. It'll make you rich. Where can people get them? You can get them on my fucking website. Damn. You can get them on AnnieLetterman.com slash merch. But also, you could just find it on Instagram and all right. You can find it on all my things, TikTok. I just started TikTok and I have such a low amount. Of, you have to follow me on TikTok, guys. It's so embarrassing. I have very few TikTok followers. It takes a second. It yeah. is. Just, they wouldn't verify me. I was like, mm. just post oh, everything you ever I'm post on Instagram verified. and just throw it all on there. What's that? Post just take everything you ever post on yeah. Instagram, throw it on there. Well, yeah, I'm just like, ba 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 now. Best of the podcast clips, do all yeah. that stuff. Yeah, yeah. Throw it out. But it's there. just, it is like, it's to start over on something is really humbling. Yeah. Oh, it's, oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. I'm really hoping that they don't come out with a new social media app anytime soon. I'm just now accepting the fact that I'm like a TikTok guy. Yeah. Because pre pandemic. I like that you're a TikTok guy. Yeah, but like pre pandemic. You kind of break the mold because it is something that we would shit on. That's what I'm saying. But, and you shouldn't worry about that because you're good. Thank you. I appreciate that. And you should that. just not even acknowledge it. I don't either. And people, and anyone that's not trying, like, I don't think you should try to be anything. You should naturally do things because I think it's yeah. like very obvious when you're trying too hard 100%. or whatever. But I think that any comic that would shit on you for that is probably. Their ticket sales are going down. They're not like, well, do you know what I mean? Right. They should be learning going from you. Down or not even existing. Yeah, that's right. the other thing. No, it's I like get that. I used to be more in my head about that, but then like you start focusing on your own thing, you start selling your own tickets and your own shows, and you're like, oh, none of that matters. No. But then you find your own lane, and then you're like, I'm literally just doing what I would do. Yeah. But in the beginning, you watch so much Burr, you watch so much Mulaney, you watch so much that you like, you think you're that guy. Yeah. And then you're like, no, 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 this is finally my point of view and yeah. the angle. There was okay, so there was this. Video I saw years ago, it was, I guess maybe it was popular, I don't know, but it was Ira Glass, the guy that does... Um, NPR show, right? Yeah, the, yeah this American uh, Life. This American yeah, Life. Yeah. He had a video that was called, I think it was called The Gap. And it's like when mm. you start in art and you pick your, what you what is your thing that you're going to do and that you're meant to do, it's like the gap between like your taste and what you like and what your ability is at that point yeah. is so large that yeah. that's like oh, something you just wow. have to like keep working through. Yeah. And now finally I'm like, I'm because I've been doing comedy 13 years, I guess now. How long are you? 11. 11, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like, now I'm like, oh. Now you I'm good. It. Yeah, it, dude, it just, it just takes so it takes so long because you, you, I've talked about this on the show a million times where you just like ebb and flow to like, I had like my wannabe Bill Burr face holding yeah. the mic stand being like, duh, duh, duh. I've had my like insane act out phase where not, everyone's like, what the fuck's going on? I have no idea. What's the, where's the premise? Like yeah. you go through all these phases to where figure out. What's up? Talking what's about now? feet. Feet. Are you foot fetish? Oh, huge. But but I think Ooh. but I think I like, pixelate mine. But I think like was what's up? I'm she your adversary. I pick I pixelate mine. You you pixelate yours on all of them. I'm selling pixelated Strictly. socks coming out. Two pixelated weeks. socks is a great idea. Coming out in two weeks, bitches. But I feel like at this point, um, just having the idea of just being completely honest with like the way my brain works yes. and like my fetishes and like. The, the just insanely weird shit I've done. Oh and being, we have to do a show together. Dude, it where would, I do all it my anti foot fetish. Well, I'm not like against foot fetish, but I'm just like, why do you, you don't just get them? What do you mean? Now that I know people want them, I, oh, I'm not just get You're not just going to get them. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you, I don't but, have a foot fetish. I don't have like a, I don't have like a behind a paywall or anything, but I'm like, I'm like, you know, I know when I'm showing my tits. I know when I'm showing my ass. The Same foot fetish thing, thing was like feet, a new yeah. thing. I was They're like, probably I on Wiki feet. Somebody oh no, they are. Once them. I found out, somebody were... sniped me early on in the game. No, I'm in Wiki feet. I got a, I got five, okay. four point five. Same here. Yeah. Mine might be like four point five two now. Whitney's I... got a five, which I'm like, I would she assume that. that she didn't. <laughs> she paid somebody. Else. I assume the that she admin. does not have good feet. No, Whitney? she has her feet are good. Really? I will tell you, my Whitney massage therapist the other night or the other morning, I was like looking through the hole and I was looking at her feet and I was like, she has like, I I see hot feet. Yeah, they're very hot feet. Yeah. I think, She's like, yeah. how's the pressure? You're like, let me suck your toes. She's I'm like, like let me get on question. that. Yeah, I'm like, let me get in on this. So it's you got so a shaman, a massage therapist, 
uh, a, a breath coach. A lot of self care. I love dude, this. Dude, I need more of this. Me too, dude. I will give you everyone. I will give I, you all I the want, people. I want all this. My massage therapist same... goes in and massages your jaw inside. She puts gloves on. Uh, I just like it... when they rub like your your scalp. Do a like when they rub like when they just scalp. like jerk me off. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, head, head, head. I you got know what I'm saying? You got me. Thank you, daddy. Yeah, I get sucked off in Tarzana every Tuesday. Um, Hold on. Sucked off on Tarzana. Might be title. the title. Um, so this is great. So so you went through your first ayahuasca thing and you're like, wow, this is incredible. Yeah, I was like, this is amazing. I, I realized a lot of my... So the first one, I was still kind of actually... This was in the beginning of me being in this relationship with that guy. And then the next year was me getting over that one the next time. And so I was just starting to get like anxiously attacked. And I was like, why am I always feeling so like weird with guys like it just wasn't i wasn't like normal with guys like it yeah. was just not like i wasn't like healthy in any of my relationships so that was my first trip was that and brody had just died so those were the two things i worked on then so with the guys i was like i asked her i did my ayahuasca i go what is it with men like why am i like this with guys and she went oh it's your dad and i was like why did i not think of that yeah it's like kind like, of like obviously like yeah, yeah, duh yeah. Yeah. and it was like but it felt like 30 years of therapy where it was like she was like it's your dad and then i realized it's my fear of my my dad dying always like i'm always afraid my dad's gonna die my dad was old when i was born i will probably be that age when i have kids by the way now but i perceived him as being old so i always was like checking to see if he's breathing if he didn't answer when i called him i thought he was dead yeah like, my, my sister's the same thing with my mom like yeah. she loses her mind if she can't get a hold of my, like dude there's been so many times where my brother still lives in the area yeah it'll be like three in the morning she'll call me I, like I'm like, dude, I'm in LA. I can't do anything. She'll call my brother. My brother would have to drive over. Like still to this day. So there yeah. is this, yeah. There's like no, unhealthy. Yeah, that, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. And and so I think that gave me this thing with guys where it was like I felt like I'm like, oh, I can't enjoy the moment because this is gonna end or whatever. Or like, when is this gonna end? Can you tell me when it's gonna end? Like, Word. is this gonna be long or short? Or like whatever. Answers, just like yeah. let me know what it is. Do you like me or not? Like, are we just fucking? Or are you like into me? Or and it's like, I didn't even know if I liked the person at all yet. Mm -hmm. Like, this wouldn't even be a person I, like, necessarily liked. Right, right, right. And right. I'm still like, why do I need to know all of this? And nobody even has those answers. So it was like not being in the moment. And it all stemmed from this stuff with my dad. So then I realized I had to kill my dad. And my I, I always have to kill my dad. It's so annoying. And my yeah, dad's like 80. Him. It's like, why do I have to kill him? I mean, yeah. can I just enjoy it now? But, mm -hmm. but so I had to have him die. And then I was giving his, like, eulogy. And I was so... I was crying so hard, but I was honoring him. And I was like, we love him. It wasn't about the loss of him. It was about like what we had with him. A lot Sorry. of crying in ayahuasca. Huh? Oh, I was weeping the whole time. But it's like, ama it's the hard, bucket. but it's like amazing. The and then the, yeah, it's a lot of tears. interesting noises. Puking, shitting. Crying. Yeah, but you're so yeah, in your thing. Too, yeah? Even people are near you. It's like, I've never shit my pants. And I made that my intention just in case, like to protect myself. I was like, yeah. my intention is to shit my Do pants. Do you wear different clothes when you go on a retreat? I just loose, wear like or? flowing. You just wear comfortable. Ready to if you need to shit. But I definitely kind of like try to dress. Yeah, I, I throw a couple like sequins on there. Yeah, a couple rhinestones. Just yeah, to, you know, it's a lot like gypsies. it's a lot like um, Burning Man. Yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna wear like a duvet cover just to make everything flow. We should get like a duvet cover with like a button. could be hot. Just one button. like a cape. You're naked. Do you naked. get really hot cape. on ayahuasca? That's in my head too. I don't yeah. know. I don't know how I felt. Is it in a yurt? Like what is a? What's a we were setting? in like a like a studio, like a I don't want to say studio because it was like it was nice carpeted floors, but it was it was just like a beautiful room. And then when I did it in Chicago, it was at this woman's house by the lake. It was really nice. Yeah, see, that's wow. what I want. It was really beautiful. Want, like, and then nature. we were like outside. Chicago's not. And my shaman saying. sings yeah. the entire time. He sings like the whole uh, six like hours. Like Backstreet Boys, like, like hot shit. He sings like the the songs. I can't remember what they're called, but he sings the song. <laughs> but is it like a song or is it just like a? I'm like no. AIDS no. <laughs> Dude, I while I was in a um, this may be a dark thing to mention, but okay. when I was in the when I was getting out of my last ayahuasca trip, you're not supposed to look at your phone. You're supposed to just have your phone off, just because it's that's that's not the world you're in. It's yeah. crazy, you know. I thought I was through the ayahuasca trip, so I turned it on. The colors were all bright. Yeah, and I got a text from someone that was like, um, four people overdosed. Kate Quigley in a coma. I was oh, like, no. I literally got that and was like, um, I had to be like Kate. I wish you well. I have to take you out of my trip. I cannot be. Because I would have started tripping about her the whole time. Yeah, yeah, and I'd be like, it's not about you because I think I deal with 
a lot of distracting myself with other people's business. Well, that's what you hear about like with every trip, any trip. My barber doesn't watch psychedelics, cuts great hair. We have the same name, good dude. Uh, but he's like, you always have to be in a good mental place before you do any type of psychedelics. But it's like, it's hard to be in a good mental place. Just a reminder, you have to keep day. correcting yourself. But like, I think. think yeah. about the last day we just woke correcting. up and you're like, I'm in a good place to do shrooms. Yeah. Then you get one text, you're like, crypto's bombing, but you're down $500. I got TikTok's shit for bombing. you guys. I got shit that's better than crypto. I do hypnosis. You got to do hypnosis. You wake up in the morning and listen shit. to a fucking hypnosis. I've heard and, about this. And my, 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 my hypnotherapist, Mary Lou Rodriguez, free plug. Um, we'll cut it, yeah. Cut it 100%. out. Cut it. Kidding. No. No, <laughs> but, like but, she, but what she does is she like, so you talk to a hypnotherapist. It's almost like therapy, right? What yeah, are yeah. your blocks? What are the things you're trying to get to? When you realize what it is, when you get to like the root of what the issue is, it's like, you know, usually self-love or or low self-esteem so or something. Self Goddamn, yeah. But it is. It'll be like, I, oh, shit, I'm trying to please other people because I'm afraid if I'm not perfect, they won't like me. You just get to these 100%. things. 100%. 100%. God, then, it's me on Tombstone. But then you go, the the hypnotherapist will go, what, do you, what does your brain need to hear? What do you need to hear? So then you to get to your thing, what would you need to hear? So then it's your words telling your brain, like your brain's telling you what it needs to hear. And then there's a wow. whole hypnosis surrounding that. I'm getting trained, I'm getting certified in it. So if the answers are in there, we, I mean, I just think that we're always going hundred miles an hour, you never just think, and then you yeah. sit down. Now that's why I think breath work, you just like stop well, for a second and you like have a chance to like yes. not be, you can like block things out. What were your breath. insights when you were on your silent retreat? Or your quiet retreat? No, this was just like a... But you didn't, yeah, cause you were still talking. Yeah, you I didn't like to be meditate quieter. or anything. But there are times when I just go off and I remember once this is I remember I, I, I'm a big Jew boy, big Jew, right? I went and did birthright in the oh, last jealous. night. This was during a war. Well, it's kind of always. <laughs> but on the last night, I remember You're like on a camel, like, oh shit, I gotta no, go the camel. I swear to God, the last night <laughs> Go we, faster, camel, go faster. The the last night you we you do this kind of where you go off and they're like, all right, they're kinda of like kind of on some shaman shit, they're telling you stuff, and then you all disperse in the middle of this field. And then like just manifest everything you want. Think about everything you wow. want. So Israel has this thing called the Iron Dome that intercepts missiles and you can hear it. But this is the quietest the trip had been all for two weeks. And I'm laying there and I, and I remember I was like 21. I was just about to graduate college. And I was like, all I want to do is just go to LA and do comedy. I just want to do comedy. Mm. And I'm laying there and I hear. And I was terrified. And I was like, this is my calling. One You're day like, it's oh, all going to I'm going to bomb. I, 100%. <laughs> I am going to now move to Los Angeles and go to Ha Ha Cafe every night and then eat dicks. But it was this moment where I was like, this is life. Yeah. Shit can just happen. Yeah. There's always under attack. But I was just laying there like, this is all I ever want. I just want to go and just pursue no. entertainment. It's, it's so good. Moment. We're so lucky we found our thing. It's yeah. so crazy. It's like the fucking best. And like, think about what you created out of. Yeah. All that you went to fucking film school and you're like, okay. Yeah, it's yeah. wild to me. You just need a little bit of film school, a little bit of uh, shoot your pants on birthright. And that was the last night. And then I was like, I get, okay, look, we're starting. The yeah. second we land, it's go time. No, because you kind of probably had an ego death because you were afraid of uh, being dead. Yeah. All right, well, let's uh, wrap the damn thing up with some questions. Let's wrap it up. Questions from the audience and we'll get out of here. Bye, 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 bye. Yeah, we have, uh, we have a sock talk. This is someone who's yes. uh, They just wanted to tell you guys this story. Uh, okay. This is from Jimmy and he says, uh, flashback to about two years ago, I had just bought myself a new MacBook. Like it was maybe six weeks old. Uh, I was jerking off, like Turn kneeling up. over it. Let's and go. I came so hard manifesting uh, that I miscalculated where it was going to land and I shot cum all over my keyboard, which fried the circuit board. Fuck. So brand new MacBook? Yeah. Just done? Yeah. But you, that's well, kind of a I don't know. Was MacBook it done cocky. or was he like. <laughs> Somebody. <laughs> I mean, dude, the amount of times the Apple store goes, what happened to it? And he goes, oh, coconut milk. Come. Yeah, I know because I was gonna say you can't really like, take it in. And... Yeah, I would just be straight up with like, look, I'm gonna be honest, man. Are we boys? We're boys. I would get the approval, dap up. I cam hard. He's I'd like, be like, dog. dude, but it's that... a, we call it a smack book now. Yeah, there it is. Fucking beat it, dog. But that's the level I think we all need to get to. That's one thing that makes the world incredible is when you can walk into a yeah, MacBook book store and be like, listen, truth. I fucked up. Everybody I came nuts. on this. Help me. The fact that they call themselves geniuses is hilarious. I'm like, I which one of you genius can finish these cum keys? I call it the I call it the nut bar. The nut bar. The Come nut take care of this. Yeah. I want you to de-nut my keyboard. I'm finding the smartest person there and be like, you do some freaky shit. <laughs> you get a monster can shoved down your throat every Tuesday. What are we doing here? I yeah. had a MacBook. I squirted it right off the desk. It was a nightmare. <laughs> Let's go. Screen shattered. I love it. <laughs> then you just see him pull out a walkie-talkie. I like, spider yeah, man bring it came Deborah. right back. I was like, Whoosh. I kegled it back in. But again, like they'll probably they'll want to look at yours first over some guys like oh, orange juice. The the freaks in the back will be like, I will take a look at it. <laughs>
He pulls out a gun. I put my wiki feed on the screen. Yes. Oh. Now we're talking. The episode of you with Joe Rogan. You're like, can somebody fix this? His, his, he was trying to open his, he's like, oh. Jammed up. Uh, semen. Semen. Yeah. Um, well, I, I hope mean, it didn't fucking, it's, so it's fried done? I mean, he said it was fried. I don't know. Maybe he had apple care. Who knows? I don't know. He, yeah, he wrote in How somehow. much cum did it come out of his cockiness to, to fry an entire computer? You don't need That's a lot of wild. liquid to burn a I'm also confused. He said, so he said he was kneeling over it. Almost like, I'm trying to figure some out. Oh That's my some God. ayahuasca yeah. shit. Yeah. So, Bird's eye view, like, baby. Uh, Dropping off that seed. Yeah. That's the problem about the like PO. This? That's the problem about the POV stuff. It's like you really want to get. It. It's, it's oh, too involved. Right, 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 You're right. like, I'm him. I'm him. I'm him. But then you ruin the the M on your keyboard. Are you through with them? Yeah, done with uh, done with them. So sorry, Jimmy, about <laughs> your laptop. Yeah, he was just like, yeah. Uh, I respect it though. Yeah, let yeah, us know. Yeah. Uh, give us an update. If, if were they able to fix it? Yeah, I, I just want to know what the Apple people say. Yeah, or did you lie? Look, like, uh, Elmer's going it. Really. Yeah. Did you have an arts and crafts night by yourself while watching Lisa Ann. See, Interesting. That is what masturbation should Lisa be. Lisa Frank, Lisa Ann. All of them. Arts and crafts. Arts and cocks. Arts and cock. Yes. Yeah. It's a yep, stretch. We got it's it. It's a stretch. Yeah. We did it. I know. I'm like, darts and crafts. Arts <laughs> like, and <I'm> like, <laughs> shitting darts. Um, all right, yeah, guys. Let's write do... in if you have a better title for arts and cocks. Someone has to. Yeah. Let's do anonymous submission. This is. Uh, Need some advice. They say, I've been in some gangbangs in the past, Fuck and I've yeah. never talked to anyone about it, and I'm not sure if I can. Uh, two parts to this question. Do you think that my friends would look at me differently if I told them? And then <laughs> yes. do you think I could Your ever... Yes. Yeah. And then, but yeah, also... Like, where was I for that? Yeah, Fucking they'd be like, you, 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 I like, got a phone. Fuck you except me? Fucking text me. I yeah. always think about that when I was in my, like, hoeiest phase. My guy friends must have been so pissed. Like, why not? Never. You never want to hit me up. Like, All those times I dropped you off at of LAX, you can never give me some LA sex. Like, Come no, on, ew, you're my ride. <laughs> uh, but he also wants to know, do you think that he should ever tell a future girlfriend about it? Oh, it's him. Yeah, it's him. A, there's a guy, oh, okay. yeah. Uh, so he was in a gangbang. Oh, with a girl, and then the other guy. It'll get brought there. up eventually. It has mm -hmm. to be somehow. Yeah, he doesn't give details on what if it was. Was him he getting and... banged? I think if he's getting banged, it's different. That's great. If he's just a guy on the team joining along, then it's just you know community that's service. That's just college. Hours. That's just sports. That's just college. That's, that's what I'm locker saying. room talk. No, I, I think you keep that <laughs> uh, Pablo's little secret. You know, that's your own little empathy, right? Because then if you're just getting like some boring missionary one night, you, in the back of your head, you're like, God. Okay, not to be because like the the fucking uh, the audition in me is still here because I did that self tape. Uh, but well, you know how like sometimes they're like when you deliver a line, think about something else, you know, and then you have the the vibe of it. Yeah, I feel like if you have a secret gangbang, like a history of gangbang that's secret, and you have that like you're Manifest. projecting like a good aura. Yeah, like your energy's good, and you don't need to say it. Yeah, oh yeah. You just kind of have Use like a that in a job interview. Works well with others. Yes, exactly. You go works well with other leadership going, skills. Yes, yeah. and then in your head, you're going. What you're really saying is like adds to the like, team. I fuck the shit out of this fucking. Here's yeah. the here's the issue. I think if you're harboring that secret because you're ashamed, right? That's that'll probably, weigh you right. down. But yeah, if you're no, not it ashamed, sounds like prideful. You, that's actually why I was so dark when I first met you. Why yeah. I was so heavy it was because I a it was lot all of gangbangs. <laughs> Gang bangs wow. are heavy. I did have a gay boyfriend in college who was like, let's bring another guy in. I was, then he was just kept looking at him. My friend, the guy from was like, really? I'm not doing this. He keeps looking at me. He keeps like gazing into my eyes. I was like, and you were just, out. you're like, guys, let me in. I'm I was like, hello, door. I thought I was supposed to be here. Yeah. Is this cheating? If you lock the door? <laughs> yeah, there was there was a foursome on the on the horizon for me before I got a girlfriend. And that was like my main, there's a little concern. I was like, I'm I'm down for all of this. But if if I just it it'll it'll turn me off if he's getting turned on by watching me fuck. Right. But how do you delineate that? You yeah. can't break that down. I don't. Did you just I don't use the word delineate you, for a foursome. Do you have to be a cuck? Do you have to be a cuck to get off when a cuck is watching you? Say one more time. Do you have to be a cuck yourself to get off when a cuck is watching you? Yes. I well, it's so. it's I don't I don't think it, the, ter the term is not do. the same. But but yeah. Yeah, what's I used the to, there's a you're different You're just term performing, dude. Cuckold, cuckolder? Like, yeah, what's the, the person that's getting cucked? A the legend. Cuck, cucky? The cucky. I, I could, uh, yeah. I don't think I would want people watching me. Mine's more out of form, though. Like, you ever, like, like do they're, a, they're giving you, like, like 10. <laughs> yeah, but, like, you, you ever, know, like, get off stage and you, like, you see photos of yourself on stage at night? You're like, that's what I look like in front of all these people? Yeah. I look like a fucking disheveled goose. And then it's... <laughs> 
But when you're up there, you feel like you're in your element. Yeah. I don't want to see, like, if somebody had a camera. Oh, my God. Just, yeah, like, I'm in the yeah, moment. Yeah, yeah. Like, I don't want to see myself in the right, moment. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. What, what, is, what does this mean? If someone, if, if. But maybe if, if you know someone's watching, you're doing, like, an extra, yeah, like, yeah. like yeah. what's his name? Christian Bale. And, yeah, you gotta, you gotta flex the whole time when you're fucking. Yeah, in Psycho, Ameri yeah, Psycho, American American, Psycho. Yeah, yeah. I think if some dude's gonna watch me, like, fuck his girl, what does it say about me where I need to, I need to think that he's hot? What does that, uh, what does that mean for would me? Would you need that? You need to think that the guy's hot. I would have to. I would have to be like, oh, he's a good-looking dude. Do you like? Do you I'm get off awesome. on a girl's like, I have a boyfriend? Are you no, like, I'm gonna steal you away? I don't no, know no, that no, at no, all. No, I don't, no, that, that really turns me off. Home wrecking. Yeah, that really turns me off. Some people do. Is that gross? Yeah, well, really if it's your thing, I guess whatever. Yeah. But. Unless we're like playing a game. If, yeah. if it's not what real, game is that's this? hot. I would. I've never role played like. I've never role played like. You know, like I'm married and you're married and we. You know what I mean? I'm never. I've never been with a girl who's a good actress. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's what. Uh, hey. Last girlfriend. Beep. Yeah, she Great was actress. an actress. Yeah, she was actually really good. She yeah. was super talented. Anywho. <laughs> yeah, no, I never, yeah. I did hook up with an actor for a little bit, and I was like, I feel like I should use him a little. Like, I was like, you know, give me, like, fireman, or give me, like, we w were on a work yeah. thing. You're telling you're like, like, me my self-tape after this. Like, and what? then I was like, <laughs> it just wasn't, I don't know. Yeah, you didn't. You don't feel like you use it to its uh, full potential. Well, what, just, what roles? What did he play? Like a Big Brother on like Modern Family, <laughs> or was it like mm, I can't Tacoma reveal. We'll, yeah, yeah, know yeah, him. Yeah. If I reveal, we'll know. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah, but I, I didn't. I didn't use it to my advantage either. I never was like, be a. You know, you're you're in the Gone with the Wind. Are you guys into costumes? You're like when a girl wears a costume. I fucking love costumes. Costumes are fun, dude. Never done it, dude. Pussy. My, well, oh to. my fucking god! I actually once or twice. Yeah, my girl yeah. did my girl because I like kind of like gothy stuff. It's so fucking oh, hot to me. And my, I girl, like that. my girl on vacation did kind of heavier makeup and then wore this like lingerie with the goddamn snaps where the pussy is. So you can did leave. You what type of makeup? Fuck! Because so that's what goth it on. is. Because goth is very like torn thing. Yes. And, yeah. Fish nets, but they look like they've been through a shredder. And Fuck. was this something you liked in high school? Yes. Yeah. But I never, I never revealed that I liked. And I it. feel like yeah, the goth girls were kind of like low key getting all the dick, but the guys didn't like. Yeah. They weren't like they were like don't tell people. Well, they just like yeah. made jokes. They just come in with knowing. like black lipstick on their face. Yeah. Like, dude, were you fucking the goth girl? Yeah, you're, you're hanging you're, upside down in the classroom like a bat. It's like, oh, that's some good pussy, <laughs> dude. Like a bat. <laughs> <laughs> How was your weekend, Trenton? I don't know. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> this shit was crazy. <laughs> All right, well, shall we end this, bitch? Shall we land this freaking hey, plane? Anything, any tour dates you want to plug, let them know. When does this come out? Wednesday. Wednesday. Oh, sweet. Yes. Sure. I'm going to be at West Nyack, New York this weekend. You heard Levity nothing Live. but great things nothing about that club. Nothing but awesome about that fucking club. I have no idea about that club. Are oh, no, I've heard, I've heard incredible things. I've okay. never heard anything about it. Cool. Anyway. Okay, well, thank you that's for the plug. No, oh, thank you for the plug. Well, that's New York, awesome. Go West Nyack. No, that's cool. That's cool. We're going to be, we're going to have fun and uh, we're doing Springs. a show together, but we shouldn't. He's already put me. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they already sent me my money. Uh, yeah. <laughs> too late. Paid me too right. soon. Hell yeah. Um, also, you can buy these. Go to AnnieLetterman.com. All my tour dates are up on my website, too. So I'll be in Austin the 29th, I believe. Oh, Austin the 29th. And I will be... But come to West Nyack next weekend, this weekend. And then a bunch of places. I'm going everywhere. So go to my website, Annie Letterman slash shows. I also have shirts that I drew, Danny DeVito, Girl Looking Into the Mirror, it's Danny DeVito. And pixelated socks coming and soon. And pixelated socks coming soon. But I know you want to look like a girl. Whoop whoop. Double shades. So, um, and Trash Tuesday is my podcast and I have a new Spotify show com coming out, which I don't have the exact details on. But listen to his and then listen to mine and then we'll do each other's and then. Yeah. Um, but Trash Tuesday, YouTube, all the platforms where you listen to things. Turn right. up. All right, guys. That's it. Um, thank you so much. You guys are awesome. And friendly reminder, we have a Patreon. Four extra episodes a goddamn month. Drops every Friday ad-free. So go on. Uh, Patreon.com backslash stiff socks pod. Patreon.com backslash stiff socks pod. And, uh, and guys, we blew up the Yaris. And that's only going to be on uh, Patreon. So go get it. Love you guys. Peace. Till next motherfucking I episode. I have to pee so bad. Guys, bye.